Kratom capsules. Ooh. What up, YouTube? I got some vapes in my uh, care packages. I have one over here that I haven't opened yet. This other one is open. It's one-time use. No recharging necessary. Contains nicotine. This is the aloe grape flavor. Vaping and Kratom capsules and alcohol for 21 and up. Women. What are women? Here we go. Shoe on Head is back at it with another video. If you don't know who Shoe on Head is, she's this uh, cute little uh, brunette who goes on YouTube and just speaks her opinion. And she is cute. I've seen her naked. Joshy like. Okay, don't be a perv. But anyways, yes. Not going to try anything because I respect boundaries, but show on head is hot. Sue me. <laughs> TikTok trad wives. What happened to women? Question mark. Strap yourselves in. We're going to have ourselves a little video response. We got the Jack Daniels, we got some Bud Light Platinum, and we got some G Fuel. The fans sent me, this is the uh, watermelon flavor. I opened it, mixed it, plugging it. Pour some G Fuel in there with some Jack Daniels. What do you guys think? Call it a jacked up OG. When you mix Jack Daniels with G Fuel. Also, disclaimer, do not mix alcohol with G Fuel and Kratom. It's probably not a smart idea, but your boy Cobra living on the edge. That smell. No, Matt Wolf. Down, down. No, no. Get back in your cage. Get back in your cage. Depending on who you ask, women are. Of course, a woman who dislikes Matt Walsh. Shocker. Want to sniff it? No. 
strong, independent, beautiful angels who can do no wrong. Or evil, ungrateful. <laughs> not me, though. I'm not like other girls. Today we are taking a break from my seemingly never-ending research into the male question, and we are talking about women. In my video, What Happened to Men, I talk about femboys. And in this video, I'm talking about TikTok trad wives. If you don't know who trad wives are, it's basically this derogatory term for women who choose to have a more traditional household wife role. In our society, men are expected to be providers, you know, me man, me bring home bacon. In our society, they expect women to be caregivers, mothers, and nurturers. Is it sexist and outdated? Yes. But in our society, women get attacked for doing anything anymore. You choose to be a traditional housewife? Well, you're supporting the patriarchy. You know, you, you, you try to get a career, and it's like, well, somebody's trying to fight the patriarchy, and it's just like, let women do what the fuck they're going to do. Unfortunately, women with their biological clocks... And with the way that it works, when women are being forced to choose between having a career and having a family, and I'm like, that's fucked up. We have all these fucking pills that can give men their boners back, but we don't have a, uh, a pill for women that gives them their fertility back. It's always a birth control pill that prevents them from having kids. Things like depo shots, which can cause cervical cancer. No. The society we live in, oh, that is tasty. The society we live in is very patriarchal. We make pills for men to get their boners back, you know. But we can't make a pill that makes women fertile again. We're pretty much just stuck being like, well, if you don't want kids, take birth control. And by the time they want kids, the birth control has done so much fucking damage to their uterus that they can't have them, and it's sad. But attacking somebody for being a uh, trad wife on TikTok seems kind of stupid. If she enjoys it, then quit slut-shaming her for it. At the same time, it's not to be expected of all women. Thank you very much. The term trad wife is trending online, fueled by a TikTok influencer who uses the term to refer to herself and how she sees her role in her marriage. This isn't just about personal choice or individual preferences. It's advancing a right-wing political ideology and dressing it up as a lifestyle. Like, I'm so disgusted to be a, to be a millennial. Because I'm one of the more reasonable millennials. Millennials today think that if you're a trad wife, you're, you're apparently supporting white supremacy and these patriarchal ideologies. I'm like, just because you don't like it doesn't make it white supremacy. Can we fucking stop with this comparing everything we don't like to World War II Nazi Germany? It's so fucking stupid. You ask your wife for a blowjob and maybe a little bit of sexy fun time, and she's like, I'm not in the mood. And then you, you fire her back with, what the fuck is this Nazi Germany? Jeez. Shut the fuck up with that. Now before we hop into our shiny armor to defend Milady, let's get into today's sponsor. Are you tired of this happening to you? Introducing Ridge. 
Ridge Vaults are high quality aluminum wallets that can hold up to 12 cards plus that fat stack of cash you're going to take out of your bank before it collapses. Ridge, Ridge Wallets, you know what else is rigid? My cock, what I'm staring at. She went ahead naked, yeah. I remember watching Shoe on Head thinking to myself, does she have any naked pics? Hold up. Google it. Oh. Bridge wallets are made with RFID blocking technology, which protects you from digital pickpockers, which will be great when the one world government forces us to rely on digital currency. There's over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber, burnt type. You take a look at uh, Shoe on Head Naked, you're like, yeah, I'd fuck her if it was consensual. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. And my favorite, Rose Gold. Bridge has over 50,000 five star reviews, and they're so confident that you'll. Just because I think she's hot. You, you don't see me sending unsolicited dick pics. There's nothing wrong with finding of-age cis women attractive. They're alive, non-related, and potentially consenting. I say potentially because you don't do anything until she consents. Okay, fuck sickos. I think Amaranth's hot. You don't see me sending her unwanted dick pics. It's the truth. As somebody who gets that on a regular basis, I'm like, ew. You know? My gay ass trolls will send me dick pics and be like, oh, you're such a faggot, Cobra, lol. And I'm like, uh, I'm not. You're actively going out of your way to look at dicks on the internet and going, which one is the grossest I could send to Cobra? That makes you gay, dude. And I do not judge. My troll's gay obsession with me is cute. Think about it from my perspective. If my troll said they were straight... And I went out of my way to send them dick pics because they got to go see one of their favorite bands live in concert. They'd be like, Cobra, you're a jealous little faggot, aren't you? Their product? That they'll let you test it out for 90 days. And if you don't love it, you can return it and get a full refund. So go to ridge.com slash shoe or click the link down below and enter code shoe at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. Big thank you to Ridge for sponsoring this video and thank you, the viewer, for not skipping the ad. Now let's get back to the video. Oh, Gym shirts stink. They fit terribly. The fabric is uncomfortable. And the designs are boring. Oh, happy belated International Women's Day, everybody. Happy Women's History Month, in fact. I didn't even Yes, it is Women's History Month and Women's International Day happened a couple days ago. Cheers to that, ladies. No, it was Women's History Month until I saw this commercial from Hershey's. My name is Faye Johnstone. I'm the executive director of Wisdom to Action. We can create a world where everyone is able to live in public space as their honest and authentic selves. See the woman changing how we see the future at Hershey's Canada. Is that really the representation we want for women? Cookies and cream? I mean, I like cookies and cream candy bars. The question you should be asking yourself is... Do you really want trans women representing actual women when there's so much I'm not trying to be transphobic, but there's a lot of uh, political discourse surrounding the trans community. 
involving some really fucked up assholes from like way back in the day, that this rabbit hole goes so deep and it gets so messed up. It's because you, 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 you use terms like cisgender it does not mean anything. Fuck sickos. And just because we allow Caitlyn Jenner to identify as a female does not mean it's okay for you to do some sick fucked up shit. Stop it. Because being a sicko has nothing to do with your gender ideology. They're, the, they're completely fucking different. And the mental gymnastics that people go through to justify it is fucking batshit insane. Like just because we allow people to have they them pronouns doesn't mean you got to start normalizing stuff that sickos do to uh, dead bodies and shit. Blech. Blech. No, you, you see people crying at a funeral and you think, what the fuck is wrong with people? We're not going to go down that rabbit hole. Nope. <laughs> Disgusting. The other day, this video, TikTok influencer SD Williams absolutely blew up on Twitter. So there's this cute blonde with some nice fucking, holy bejesus, those are some nice fucking titties. Stacy Williams on TikTok. While the world continues to condemn traditional wives. Uh... That's one happy man. <laughs> I will say this, though. Just because she's dressing a certain way does not mean she's glorifying a certain uh, mindset, you know? The biggest argument you hear about these people is, Oh my God, you're a traditional housewife and you're dressed like you're from the 1950s? I bet you're a homophobic and a racist, too. And it's like, you know what? Fuck this shit, YouTube. If women want to be traditional wives, let them. If they don't want to be traditional wives, who cares? Who fucking gives a shit? Women are not required to do either one. You know, as a MGTOW feminist, I'm telling it like it is. Women are not required to do jack shit. You want to be a traditional housewife? Fetch your man the pipe and slippers? Go for it. You want to be a career-driven woman, hashtag girl boss, girl gets you some. Women have a lot of power in our society because they have the vagina. Guys will do stupid things for a taste of some of that pussy. You want to know why men have more rights than women? It's because women have more power politically in our society because they have a vagina. So it's like, what do you do? What do you do? That doesn't make it right, but that's life. You look at the uh, the Titanic, you know, y you look at the Titanic when it was sinking, who the fuck got onto a lifeboat first? Women and children and elderly people. You young man, ah, screw you. That's why men have more privilege in our society, because nobody gives a fuck about men. You don't like it? <laughs> Suck my MGTOW feminist dick. At the same time, I acknowledge that nobody gives a fuck about me because of my white, cisgendered, heterosexual, autistic male privilege. So when I hear women on TikTok who feel like nobody gives a fuck about their rights, all puns intended, I sympathize with them. It's like, you want women to suck your dick? 
and you want and women want men to be nice to them. So here's a beautiful solution. Hashtag stop simp shaming. Hashtag stop slut shaming. And furthermore, you should be nice to a woman because it's the right thing to do. And if you get laid out of the deal, it's a bonus. I've released some brand new t-shirts for my birthday weekend. And I'm releasing a new one on Monday if it gets approved. It's pretty fucking savage. I like the way this shirt turned out. These trolls can suck my dragon balls. The trolls jealousy level. It's over 9,000. I'm an avid Dragon Ball Z fan, so we'll see if that shirt gets approved on Monday. But I have a brand new shirt. It's got a black it's got the black and green cobra on the back. It says Cobra Cult's pretty freaking sweet. On the front it says fuck slut shaming. Fuck simp shaming. Hashtag gender equality. I'll put a uh, link to that shirt in the comment section below. In the background of that, it has a frosty, frosty pint of beer. Because you got to think, man, men are put underneath gender-based stereotypes, too. Yet you never hear anyone say a fucking word when men are trying to be the traditional husband to provide for his woman, to, to take care of her. You never hear these fucking assholes on the internet going, Oh my god, that's a sexist expectation for men. Ah, oh. oh my god, you guys. You never hear people bitch about like gender based traditions when it involves men because men are being told to just suck it up and deal with it. And if women want equality to that, no, you don't. You want all the privilege that men have with none of the bullshit we go through. And I say, give it to women so they shut the fuck up about it. Because if women got treated like men in our society, they'd fucking hate it. If a woman got raped and no one cared, why are you complaining? You got some dick, girl. Suck it up and deal with it. Quit being a pussy about it. You never hear the end of it. But if a dude gets raped... And it's a chick who does it. Nobody takes them seriously, dude. Like, what the fuck you complaining about, bro? You got some pussy. Why rape culture does not exist for men because of that negative sexist stereotype that all men want is sex. And whenever I hear that, my first response is, yeah, and all women want is a goddamn wedding ring. Suck my dick harder. Hell, nobody gives a fuck about your opinions. Ladies, you've already been through that. It's called the 1950s. SD is one of many in the new growing movement of TikTok trad wives. Women who quit their jobs and decide to be stay-at-home girlfriends, wives, or mothers, dedicating their time to domestic chores like cooking, cleaning, and taking care of their family. Ah, uh, the f okay, I may be a MGTOW feminist, but just hearing all that makes my fucking social justice warrior blood tingle. Women, if you want to be a stay-at-home wife, you want to quit your job to help raise the family, that's your choice. Now, if men want a bitch because, oh my God, she's constantly asking for money, and it's like, well, then get a job. And in today's modern society, women are more than capable of getting a job. However, it's not my fault that the products that women are presented with cost more money. It's not my fucking fault that the minimum wage gap is fucking sexist. 
Like, you have men who bitch because women screw them over in divorce courts with child support payments, but you don't hear men complaining about the minimum wage gap being sexist. You know why men get paid more fucking money than women? Because we get screwed over in the divorce courts. So it kind of evens out a little bit. As soon as I saw this video of S.G. Williams, I was seething with jealousy. This woman looks like she jumped right out of a 50s Coca-Cola ad. She looks beautiful, confident, happy, everything the internet hates. So I defended the- Yeah, exactly my point, shoe on head. You see this chick on TikTok who calls herself a trad wife and she's just like, ah, oh, stupid hot. Fucking got those big old double D titties, the fucking beautiful waist, fucking nice flat stomach, fucking gorgeous hair. Yeah. Things that most guys desire, and the hypocrisy of that is when a woman calls us shallow for it. Like, if guys find Kim Kardashian attractive, you hear all these fucking fourth wave feminazi cunts go off about how it's not fair because Kim Kardashian sets an unrealistic body expectation, but these same women are going after dudes who can't even, who, who, you know what I'm saying? It's the truth. You got these chicks who are going after dudes who are six foot eight. They have like a, a fucking eight inch cock when it gets hard. They got like 12 pack washboard abs and they make like a million dollars, you know. It's okay for her to have those standards and if you call her a hypocrite for it, you're slut shaming. Fuck you. Here's a thought, as long as you ain't a sicko, stop standard shaming. Both sides do it. And today I'm going to be defending the TikTok trad wives. Both are very different things, but also kind of similar at the same time. Both are exaggerations of femininity and are seen as rebelling against society, depending on where you stand. Exaggerations of femininity? What is femininity? In today's society, where we're being told if you're a woman and you wear makeup, you're a slut, but then she'll come back and fire with, quit slut shaming me, it's my body, my choice. And then on that same flip coin, you got women who are being told, you'd look so much prettier if you put some makeup on. And it's like, that has got to fucking suck ass, dude, being a woman in today's society. You wear baggy clothes, people automatically assume it's because you're a lesbian or you're transitioning into a dude. God forbid a woman wants to wear baggy clothes and be a tomboy, right? But then as soon as she shows off her fucking figure... She gets slut shamed for it. Depending on which party you vote for, the red satanic pedophiles or the blue satanic pedophiles. Now I happen to Fuck that shit, satanic eleven rules of the world. No, she won't had no 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 no. Anybody who calls himself a Satanist and does that shit is a fucking poser. Hashtag Satanic 11 Rules of the Earth. As doctrined by the Church of Satan, rule number nine says never hurt small children. And there's also a Satanic, and the Satanic 11 Rules of the Earth, do not fuck unless given consent. And children are not mature enough to consent to that. Children are so innocent and precious to the world. Man, kids are more precious than rock and roll. It's the truth. Kids are more precious than rock and roll, to be honest.
Kids are so vulnerable and innocent to the world. They're more vulnerable than the adults that inhabit this planet. And that's why pedophilia is gross. Like anybody who can look at kids the same way I look at shoe on head is a disgusting piece of shit. Hell Satan and fuck pedophiles. Both the Femboys and the Tribe Wives. Real controversial stuff happening on this channel, folks. Subscribe for more hot takes like, is mayonnaise too spicy? I think it's cool when people do whatever they want, despite how much hate is thrown. Or just subscribe to Shoe On Head because she's hot. <laughs> Them. And wow, was there a lot of hate thrown at this woman. Turns out it's all women can choose to do whatever they want until- Uh, let me guess. All the hatred towards trad wives? It comes from two people, jealous women who have no boobs, no cooking skills, no lifelong skills, and they can't find a man to take care of, let alone take care of them. So they're insanely jealous of this pretty woman on TikTok who's baking up a souffle. Oh, it's incels who can't get laid. They hate women. And they see the perfect woman in their eyes. And they're like, oh, I can't have her. So, of course, now the hate comments ensue. And they disguise their hatred by trying to shove modern-day political talking points into their face. And chooses to do whatever she wants. Over the past few months, there have been dozens of articles on the growing epidemic of TikTok trad wives, calling them classist, racist, heteronormative. Just Her heteronormative? That is such a stupid fucking term. H heteronormative? When the normative when the normative today is being pushed on us as LGBTQIAA, everything else except white plus. And when that becomes a normative, because rightfully so, everyone else outside of straight, white, cisgendered people have been bullied and discriminated against. Oh, wait. What about the Irish and the Scottish who were enslaved when they came to America? Yeah, white slavery has existed, but we're not allowed to talk about that. Shh. You can't talk about the Scottish and the Irish who were enslaved when they came to America as white slaves because that completely defeats every talking point out there. But at some point, every race in our human race has been enslaved, and today we're all slaves to our cell phones and likes on social media. This disturbing videos and trends usually features a cis straight white woman. So right off the bat, they're already making it about being white. And I'm like, I'm sick and tired of that crap. That whites are bad, okay? And hear me out. Whenever you hear black people bitch because in the, like, the 1950s, black people were considered bad. And as the result, they got treated accordingly as a result, but compared to today, the microaggression that white people have to face is nowhere near as bad, but it's still aggression, and it doesn't end anything. It just creates more segregation. You want to end racism and sexism and segregation, so your solution as a society is to segregate straight, white, cisgendered men. And occasionally women, but not nearly as much, because remember, remember, women are boss, and they have more privilege in our society than men do. If you can't respect that, then you're a fucking incel. <laughs> We're going to fight for equality by fucking microaggressing the other side. And when they get sick and tired of it and say, hey, if it's all about equality, then quit being a hypocrite about it. And as long as you ain't a sick fuck, why can't we all just get along? Oh, can't say that because that's white fragility or your white tears. Wah. And I'm like, look, I'm down for the cause. I support the right people. I'm a decent guy and I get crapped on just for being white, straight, cisgendered and male. Fuck that shit. Being videos featuring cis white women. Oh no, not 
cis white women. Articles calling the women insecure, telling them to just do BDSM instead. Articles say- Wow! Okay, if these women are insecure with who they are as people, do you think they would go on TikTok being like, Hey, it's Trish the, the Tad. <sighs> the truth. If these women were insecure with who they were as people, they wouldn't be going on TikTok being like, Hey guys, gals, they thems. It's your girl Trish, the trad TikTok wife. Back at it with, with another delicious cooking video. Your man's just going to love the way you cook this steak. It, it, they might be dressing a certain way, but... To quote Terrence Pop and Toxic Male. <laughs> Winning. But... Do you see them rocking Nazi symbols while doing it? Do you see them making, like, racist and sexist comments? Do you see them degrading themselves and being like, Oh my god, I'll never amount to anything. They have no problem with their individual choices, but if this is the age of the trad wife, then I'm ready to die alone. Then die. What do we do, argue with you? I'm not on the debate team. This isn't mock trial. The articles about this were pretty bad, but the con The desperate Hail Mary attempt to try to get pussy when you fucking comment shit like that. If this is the age of the trad wife and I'm ready to die alone, uh, shut the fuck up. Guess what, dick fuck? We're all gonna die alone. It doesn't matter if you have somebody or not. If you have a good man or a good woman at your side, cherish that shit, my crackers. If you don't, it's not the end of the world because we're all going to die alone. And what hurts worse, dying alone in front of somebody you've spent your entire life in front of? You've had a good marriage, a good life. You've been married to your wife for like 80, 90 plus years. And you get to watch her watch you die before she does. Or you have nobody. Nobody to share your life with. And you just die alone with nobody to share it with. Both seem kind of depressing. That's why I quit worrying about my fucking dry spell. Because me getting laid doesn't change the physical outcome. It doesn't. It's still going to suck to die alone, so quit worrying about when you get laid. ...were even worse. Imagine being so scared of chasing your own dreams you decide to sell your... Oh my god, and the man bashing continues. God forbid. Imagine being so scared of chasing your own dreams you decide to sell your soul to a man. Barf emoji. Blech. Yeah, imagine being so jealous that this woman has a man to, to take care of, that you have to slut shame her. I mean, like, sincerely, what if she chooses it? What if she fucking chooses to be a stay-at-home mom? You want to call it sexist, sexist and contrived? And be like, you're just trying to appeal to a sexist male audience. And I'm like, shut up! What pisses me off about this, like I said earlier in this video, is that men are forced to contribute to their species as a male. Men face gender-based oppression and social expectations as well. And yet when men are being forced to do it, nobody sticks up for us and says, Hey guys, that's uh, sexist. That just because you're a man and you can't, like, lift 900 pounds over your fucking head and build a house and fix the car and fix the sink and go to war, grunt and make fucking man noises and drink, like, 40 fucking beers in one sitting and then kick someone's ass for looking at your female the wrong way. Just because you're a man and you can't provide doesn't mean shit. No one else is going to say it, so I'm going to fucking say it. I don't give a fuck what your gender is. 
okay? If you cannot fulfill your gender-based roles, then fuck that shit. Find a way to be useful in your own special way. I'm so sick and tired of society fucking victimizing women and blaming men for everything. That's what it is. You're blaming whites and men for everything and straights for everything. I'm like, newsflash, I'm straight. I don't give a fuck what you do as long as you ain't a fucking sicko or an inhuman piece, inhuman piece of shit. Outside of that, I don't care. Soul to a man. Being a slave to a man isn't being feminine. Being a slave to a man isn't being feminine. It's being a slave. Aw, oh, fuck you. Try, okay, so let me get this straight. If a woman decides to be a fucking housewife, are you telling me that her husband is making her pick cotton? You know, whipping her back if she don't give him a blowjob? Yes, master, I'll suck the dick. And you know what? If she's got a good man, he'll show his affection and his way in return. So, like, okay, you have a trad wife. Good for you. What are you going to do for your woman to show that you appreciate all the hard work she puts in for you and your relationship and for that fucking household? I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to eat that pussy out like a lesbian experience in college that she had, but better. You know what I'm saying? When your wife is on her period and she don't feel like being the trad wife of your dreams, she don't feel like cooking, you know what you do? And she says, babe, can you go to the store and get some feminine products? You do it. You come home with what she needs. Rubber feet, rubber shoulders. You know, make her feel pretty. Your wife doesn't feel like cooking, so you're like, I'll cook something for the change. You know, the idea of a Chad, or excuse me, Trad wife, you might, you know, that could be a funny name for it too, a Chad wife, you know, but they're called Trad wives. And I'm like, if you're in a healthy relationship, dude, you should be able to provide for your woman because that's what men are supposed to do. They're providers. And even if you don't have the biggest dick in the world or make the most money, you show your affection by appreciating your woman, you know? She's not in the mood to have sex, so you cuddle with her and tell her she's pretty and tell her she falls asleep. You suck her pussy off even though you're not in the fucking mood because you know you're not, you know you're not going to get a blowjob in return. You got Manscaped. Women on these man, these stupid hot women on Manscaped telling us how to shave our fucking balls. Uh. But don't you fucking dare as a man tell a woman how to shave her cunt. Uh. Or her pits or her legs. <laughs> because now you're body shaming. Fuck the double standards and the hypocrisy, dude. <laughs> Yes, master, I'll get I'll get your pipe and slippers. Being a slave to a man, like maybe she's into it. You know? You ever think about shutting the fuck up and quit trying to be offended for everyone else for one split goddamn second? And then like, okay, when somebody else that the thing is supposed to be offending actually offends them, then you want to speak up and be like, yeah, I agree. These individuals shouldn't be treated like this. But it gets so fucking irritating when you got all these fucking assholes who have to get offended on someone else's behalf. Being a slave. Please stop glorifying this. Please stop glorifying this. Spending every second of your life in service to a man is not something to aspire for. Oh, where? So, okay, if we spent every glorifying day 
spending every second of our life in service to women, we get called a simp. So it's like, why not do both? Fuck the simp shaming and fuck the fucking slut shaming. Now, if a woman chooses to do this, it's one thing, but she's being forced to do it because of circumstances, then fuck that shit. You don't know the whole story, dude. You really don't. Every second of your life in service to men is not something to aspire for. If this is what makes her happy, that's great. Looks like she loves her life and I'm ecstatic for her. But it's not condemning housewives, but literal male fantasy cosplay, LMA. Okay, so way to make a gender-based assumption about men. Like, what the fuck, dude? I'm so tired of this shit, dude. The way society views men in today's society is incredibly toxic, but you can't talk about that without being told to check your male privilege. And I'm like, check my male privilege. Okay, to quote love and vanity... Everyone's oppressed, everyone's depressed, everyone has privilege, everyone abuses each other. It might seem a bit narcissistic to quote my own album, but it's the fucking truth. Everyone's oppressed to a point, everyone has privilege to a point. And instead of acknowledging that we're all human beings just trying to live our life and fuck sickos, it's nope, 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 nope. That's not how it works in today's society. In today's society, you got assholes trying to normalize sickos, and everyone's a victim. I'm so fucking tired of it, dude. So fucking tired of it. So does her husband beat and degrade her? Don't come Again with the, the male hating. The fucking male bashing. Oh, she's a trad wife? What's next? Does he burn her with cigarettes and beat her ass? No! Because any man who's decent enough to see that you have a traditional woman, he'll appreciate that shit. He'll worship the ground she walks on. And in turn, she worships the ground he walks on. And because of that, you have what's called a healthy relationship. Because it's 50-50, mates, you bloody wankers. I love Jack Daniels. Mm, my favorite whiskey. Not a sponsor. And okay, if you have a trad wife, good for you. But don't be a fucking complete piece of shit and be like, honey, you're amazing. Let me cook for a change. Or like, take a break from cooking and we'll order some DoorDash, you know? It's not this complicated, YouTube. Trying to us girl bosses when your husband abuses you. Oh my fucking God, wham. Don't come crying to us girl bosses when your husband abuses you for dinner being cold. The fucking stereotypes are so fucking disgusting. You like being the hashtag girl boss until you realize that when you take on all the responsibilities of a man, all of a sudden you fucking hate it. Nobody cares about your feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're so independent, you're so hashtag girl boss, that nothing phases you. You're independent and strong. So you want to have that attitude? Society's going to treat you like that. You know, in the modern day society where it's like, I'm not going to go easy on you just because you're a girl and you might snap back. Well, I don't expect you to. And, it, ugh, dude. And then when women find out that the hashtag girl boss isn't all about just, you know, degrading men and making them feel inferior to your female energy, you got to put in the work to do it. And can I just say this? I'm so sick and tired of society pinning everybody against each other. Male versus female. Black versus white. Trans versus, versus cisgendered. Gay versus straight. I'm sick of it. Dinner being cold. Stupid dumb girl who... 
Speaking as a man, if I had a girlfriend who was willing to cook me dinner and it was cold, I'd still eat it and I'd give her the biggest hug and kiss. And I'd be like, babe, thank you for cooking me dinner. It was amazing. Even if it tasted like shit, I'd still eat it because that's what you do when you love people. And furthermore, cooking should be an expectation for everyone. I'm so tired of this, oh, women are expected to cook. Fuck that. Okay, I get why people are pissed off at the trad wife BS, but at the same time, who gives a fuck? If she likes doing it, then more power to her, you know? Shit. End up with nothing when he leaves. Stupid dumb girl who will end up with nothing when he leaves her for another one. Okay, if you're a dude, and you have a woman who takes care of you, and cooks for you, and cleans for you, and you offer to help, and she's just like, no, 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 I'm a girl boss, I can do this myself, and you leave her for, the, for another girl, you're stupid. For another one. I would love to come home from the construction. What the fuck is wrong with people? And you got some dude who's so pissed off and so fucking, like, wow. This person comments, they would love to come home from a construction job and slam their wife's head into the fridge door for forgetting to put their beer in the fridge 1950s style. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. You're so fucking jealous you don't have a trad wife. You gotta fucking make comments like this to make all the women around you think that you're a good dude. Really, it just comes off as blatant sarcasm and super cringe. Jesus Christ. And, okay, if you can walk or open a fridge, even if you can't walk, if you're able to open a fucking fridge, do it yourself. Be like, okay, I just bought a six-packer, in my case, plug one of my favorite beers next to King Cobra Malt Liquor, Bud Light Platinum. Like, oh, jeez, I've had a long day. I want a cold beer. So stick the beer in your fucking fridge, and then when you come home from work, like, you're a grown-ass man. Figure it out. Uh. This idea that... Uh, men are so fucking helpless that they can't do laundry or they can't cook for themselves. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? That's fucking stupid, YouTube. I'm a grown-ass man. I'll be 32 tomorrow on the 26th of March. So tomorrow's my 32nd birthday. And... I cook and clean for myself. A lot of people want to give me shit about my hygiene. Fuck you. If women had my hygiene, all they'd have to say is they're fighting the patriarchy. And if you don't accept it, you're a fucking sexist. So fuck that double standard. Because this, it, it, it fucking kills me that there are men out there who fail to do the simplest of tasks. This, this idea of these sex-crazed rapist men who are too lazy to, to do anything, it's such a negative stereotype for us men, and I'm sick of it. Because I'm pretty sure that, you know... My socks are dirty, so you take them off, you put them in your hamper. It's not that complicated. You know, like, oh my god, you're hungry. You don't want to cook anything super, 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 like, expensive or fast or whatever. So you, you pop a couple of Hot Pockets in the microwave and crack open a beer. Most men are just that simple. We don't have to have... Some five-course meal to be happy, you know? Speaking as a man, you know, if I put like three to four Hot Pockets in the oven or in the microwave, 
And then I have like two beers afterwards. I'm content. You know, men, we're simple creatures of habits. And it pisses women off how simple we are. Because a, a true alpha male doesn't give a fuck what other men think of him. A true girl boss doesn't give a fuck what other women think of her. It's the truth. You see all these men and these women who have to compete with each other and then compete amongst their own gender? It's disgusting. It's because people are fucking miserable. You can't be happy until the person you hate has a shittier life than you do. And it's fucking sad. That just shows that you're miserable and that you secretly are envious of the person you want that for. site and slam her head into the fridge drawer for forgetting to put my beer in there 1950s style i would that's so fucking stupid if i had a trad if i had a trad girlfriend slash wife and her the food was cold i'd still eat it after fucking almost six years of not having a girlfriend no, I had a woman who would cook for me, and I fucked that up by cheating on her, and I feel horrible about that, dude. You have no idea. And as a result, I haven't cheated since then. No, I'm not trying to kiss Stephanie's ass, but Stephanie was a good woman, and I fucked that up. It is what it is. You get a woman who will give you sex whenever you want it, and who will cook for you whenever you're hungry. God, I'm an idiot. We recognize that those mistakes. I don't care if Stephanie dates me again or if we're even in the friend zone. She's doing her thing. I'm doing my thing. Leave her the fuck alone. If she's happy with her new Negro black boyfriend, then I'm happy for her, you know? But the only reason why Stephanie has an easier time finding sex than I do is because she has the vagina. It is what it is. Unless chicks know you have a huge cock and you know how to use it. Grab her by the hair and slam her face into... This person comments that they would love to grab her hair by the hair and slam her face against the fridge. What the fuck? And they caption it with a photo of this trad wife that we talked about, the blonde with the fucking nice tits. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You shouldn't hit people unless they're hitting you. It's the truth. You look at cobras in the wild or king cobras or whatever. Cobras in general do not, they do not attack unless they are cornered or they're being attacked. And that's the way humans should be. It's the way of the cobra. Namaste, motherfuckers. And I'm like, tell me you're jealous of that shrad wife without telling me you're jealous of that shrad wife. And I'm like, gee, I can't imagine why this person's not getting any chicks. A woman takes care of you, so the first thing you want to do is to get triggered by it because you feel like it's sexist. Like, society is going to shit in a handbag, dude. I get that you want to fight against sexism and for gender equality. But what the fuck, dude? I'm not even like, oh my god, dude, this fucking video is 21 minutes long and I'm not even six minutes into the video. Bridge. Fascist Barbie would need a lot more of that. Oh my fucking god, because she's blonde, of course. Fascist Barbie would need a lot more of that caked up makeup to cover the bruises on her face after the person who wrote this beats beats her for not having dinner ready on the ready on time. Jesus fucking Christ, if I had a fucking Chad wife, I would not expect her to cook everything. I love to cook. I do. 
If I didn't love to cook, I wouldn't make crazy cooking videos for YouTube. I'm the kind of guy that says, fuck that shit. I want to help my woman cook. And if it turns out like shit, we can laugh at each other and just order DoorDash, you know? I preach this on my channel several times. The couples who do things together stay together. It should not be the uh, woman's job to cook. It should not be the man's job to provide. Okay? It should be each other's job to cook and provide for each other. Enough of the gender-based bullshit. Fascist Barbie? Oh my fucking god, because she's blonde? Way to crap on people for being blonde, you assholes. Fascist Barbie? Please. <laughs> No, I, I have enough alcohol to do this video response, but I feel like I'm going to be a little bit wasted by the time I'm doing done doing this video because this shit makes me want to fucking do drugs and drink. It's all gender politics and gender... It's all gender politics is what it is. And I hate gender politics. Well, I acknowledge that if you expect a woman to be a trad wife, you're a fucking sexist. But at the same time, if she chooses it on her own free will, then don't slut shame her for it, dude. That's some more. Cr Fuck me. Kratom pills. I want to need to pop two more of these bastards right here. Yeah. up makeup to cover the bruises on her face after I beat her for not having dinner ready on time. Why are they all so violent? These people need- Yeah, I agree with you on that. She one head. Why the fuck are these people so- I'll tell you why they're violent. It's because the majority of these assholes are all jealous. They're either men who can't get laid, who can't get a girlfriend, and then they see the trad wife, and it gives them a raging boner that makes them want to cream themselves. And they can't get her because they hate women. Or you get women who uh, feel insecure with the way they look. And they have to compare themselves to the, uh, the way other people look. And it's what it is. Pure fucking blatant jealousy from... You know what I'm saying? You look at these women on TikTok... Instagram, who put on a shit ton of makeup, and then, like, they have all these followers, and then you get some, like, less attractive chick who has to slut shame her because she chooses to wear makeup, but y'all are facing the same oppression because that same woman who's slut shaming her is being told you'd probably be a little bit prettier if you put some makeup on, and it's like, it's just bullshit on all sides, dude. In prison. Women like this trigger a violent reaction in me. Women like this trigger this user's violent reaction in them. Because you can't find a woman like that. That's what it is. That's what the fuck it is. You want a trad wife, but you can't admit that without someone calling you a fucking misogynistic, sexist, typical male pig piece of shit. Uh, so, of course, you denounce it for chick points. Uh... You think women don't want the same thing? Some like 800 pound bitch with like no tits, no ass, and a busted ass face. Fucking she's got more fat in her stomach and her thighs than she does in her fuck in her face than she does in her tits and ass. And she looks ugly as shit. I mean, <laughs> even Jabba the Hutt's like, where's the Jack Daniels? Ho, 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 ho. Wanting the hottest guy on the planet to, like, eat her pussy out while she eats a German chocolate cake that he hand-baked with his love. Oh, my God. I can hear every fucking overly weight chick go right now going, ding. That's the sound of her click getting hard. Ding.
but then you'll reject the guys who are less attractive than you because they're creepy rapist assholes. But then you'll bitch when the guys who are more attractive than you reject you. Oh my god, the shallow hypocrisy on women and men is so thick. Oh god damn it. We can tell. As far as I know, none of these women are telling people how they should live. In fact, SD Williams. Exactly, shoe on head. None of these uh, trad TikTok women are saying, hey, this is how women should live their lives. They're just saying, hey, it's your girl, you know, this is what makes me happy. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Here's what I'm baking in the kitchen today. I'm a dude, and I love to bake and cook. You know, what inspired me to love baking and cooking was all the awesome women that I have in my life who love to bake and cook. I'll drink to that. You can't tell me, though, that when your grandmother makes cookies, you're just like, ooh! Like, Grandma made cookies! Oh, I'm going to feel like a fatty for a second. Uh, don't mind me. Just, uh, you cannot tell me that grandmothers do not make the best cookies. I know that's a, that's a stereotype, but it's a stereotype for a reason. <laughs> yeah. And I think to myself, man, all the women in my life who can cook, it inspires me to want to be an awesome cook. So that when I have a woman of my own, she can be like, oh my God. Your cooking is amazing. What inspires me to cook? Chef Gordon Ramsay and all the awesome women women in my life who can cook. One of my great grandmothers that I have left can can bake with the best of them, dude. Oh, she makes these miniature cherry cheesecakes. Dude, stop. Is doing the exact opposite. The misconception about the trad wife movement. Oh, Jesus Christ, this chick is hot. Estence Williams, TikTok. Um, it's not really a movement. Nobody's pushing it. People are typically just living it and maybe showcasing their lifestyle like me. Exactly. God damn it, she's hot. If I wasn't on YouTube right now. Look, I could give a fuck if she's a trad wife. I could give a fuck. Her looks are just gorgeous enough to make me want to be like, Hey, are you single? You want to call that shallow? But that's how women and men are attracted to each other. We physically seek out members of our fellow human beings that are attractive. That's the first thing that draws human beings to each other is physical sexual attraction. Because you can't see someone's personality until you get to know them. That's just the cold truth of it. That's how it is. If I see a really hot chick that's just like stupid hot, I'm like, I'm all into it. But if she's got no personality, I'm like, meh. You're good for sex, but outside of that, like, where's the conversation? You know, you get stoned with your girlfriend, you're cuddling up together in bed, just enjoying the moment, relaxing and being lazy, and it's just like, you're like, what's the meaning of life, you know? And then, like, your girlfriend or whatever has some, like, deep philosophical shit that makes you think, damn it. I'm like, you know, a woman who's physically attractive, it does the trick on the surface. But for me personally, I want a woman who has a personality that I find equally as attractive as her body and her face 
and women women want the same thing in men and both sides are equally as shallow but it's only called out when men do it and all it does is create more bullshit amongst the, the genders and we believe our place specifically us as individuals believe our purpose is to be homemakers here okay 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 so a message to this sorry i'm staring at her tits i'm being a pig on purpose women get so pissed off when you call them a cunt they're like that's so degrading but i'm like you have no problems calling men pigs you think men don't feel degraded when we get compared to an animal that likes to roll in the mud And for the record, I don't call a woman a cunt unless it's rightfully deserved. And to be fair, cunt is my favorite cuss word because of how offensive it is. Cunt, 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 cunt. I said cunt. Women who get offended by the word cunts because men say that it makes them pigs, but then have no problems calling the women they hate cunts. Man, the hypocrisy just keeps getting thicker and thicker. A lot of people trying to make this a news flash, okay, to this lovely trad wife here. You're not forced to be into it. If you think that's your place in society and that's how you want to be and that makes you happy, then go for it. However, that's not your place in society as a woman, okay? And I will drink to this women can become president. Women can become cops, lawyers, scientists, doctors. Cobra Cult's all about that female empowerment, man. But I also empower men. We empower each other through the power of belief and believing in ourselves and using our satanic powers for good. And fuck sickos. And you don't have to have the most power in the world. You, you don't have to be the most powerful Satanist in the world, or the universe for that matter, to make a difference. Sinister thing, or put some other darker meaning behind the term tradwife, nobody is doing that. We as individuals are just choosing to be homemakers. That's all. Feminism is about personal choice. <laughs> but you chose wrong. <laughs> this is, that's the truth. If feminism is all about women choosing their life, then the second they choose to be a trad wife, it's like, oh, well, well, <sighs> we're going to ignore the hypocrisy of it and be like, you chose wrong, bitch. Is condemning. Oh, my fucking God. Why, YouTube? I took four Kratom pills, and I'm swallowing it down with caffeinated beverages and alcohol, and I'm feeling just peachy right now. Who the fuck is condemning traditional wives? I'm so tired of these self-proclaimed victims. No one is coming after you. It's all in your head, my sweet aggravated whites. Inclusion of others does not mean you mean the exclusion of you. Breathe, Whitey. It's going to be okay. Uh, yeah, people are coming after everyone. It's like if you choose to be a traditional housewife, you get called a sexist. You get told you're being brainwashed by the patriarchy and etc. etc. If you choose to be a girl boss... Uh. You, you get called a bitch who's just trying to compete for male attention. Uh, and I'm sick of... Oh, excuse me. Sick of it. I got the hiccups. <laughs> Shit. <laughs>
additional wives. I'm so tired of these self-proclaimed victims. No one is coming after is it self-proclaimed victims when society chooses to oppress us based off of the political ideology of the times? Not all women are victims, but at the same time, when you see how women have been oppressed for centuries, is it really... You know, victimizing women at the same... Yes and no is the answer. It's all in your head, my sweet aggrieved whites. Inclusion of others does not mean the exclusion of you. Breathe, whitey. It's gonna be okay. Name... Exclusion of others does not mean they're excluding you, but because we have exclusion of others, they're now they're gonna automatically exclude you. That's called equality. If you don't like it... Well, you hear the trans people bitch about equality. You hear women and blacks and minorities bitch about equality. But when a few select individuals of these groups decide to hate on you because you're none of you're none of the things they are. You're just some straight white cisgendered male. Now they demand that you have less equality than them, and if they don't get that, then it's a battle for equality. And I'm like, okay, if you demand more rights than me, then that means you're just as bad as I am. Fuck you. The person who was condemning traditional wives. I am. Okay, just because someone chooses... Okay, just because someone chooses to live an oppressive lifestyle doesn't make it any better. Gender traditionalism is a toxic uh, period. Yet. Doing things for the sake of gender roles or gender tradition is toxic, period. At In the end of the day, it only benefits patriarchy. I mean, yes and no. If you're choosing to do it because that's how you feel your role is, then yes, it can be toxic, but if you're doing it because it makes you happy. And let me let me explain this. I will do nice things for my female friends because I want to. Not because I give a fuck about getting laid, but because when the women I'm crushing on are going, you can back off and you're still super cool about everything. You know, when you got women who are saying, why can't men who crush on her be more like this guy right here? You're changing things for the better. And even if it doesn't get you what you want, it's for the greater good. live an oppressive lifestyle and I agree it is toxic to expect men to provide and to expect women to be in the kitchen it's incredibly toxic because when women can't provide or be in the kitchen and cook an amazing meal or when men are not tough enough to provide for the women they desire it makes us it makes every individual going through that feel like shit so yes gender based ideologies are incredibly toxic make it any better gender traditionalism is toxic period doing things for the sake of gender rules or gender tra look at cobra hitting a pink and purple vape pen what a faggot and i'm like you're jealous because i get free nicotine vape pens to review on my channel and you don't oh And that Cobra is secure enough with his sexuality that I don't care because this vape pen tastes delicious. ...is toxic, period. In the end, this only benefits patriarchy. Individual choices do not exist. And it just gets stupider and stupider by the minute. Individual choices do not exist in a vacuum. She is promoting a dangerous slavery mindset to young women. Oh my fucking god.
You ever see something so stupid it just makes you want to fucking drink? Or you're just like... Ah, uh, it's Saturday. My birthday's tomorrow. That Jack Daniels is taking the edge off. I'm feeling good. At the beginning of the video, you saw me mix Jack Daniels and Bud Light Platinum into this G Fuel, so we're going to pour ourselves... Oh, that pop was loud. And pour ourselves another cup. Here's the thing of it. If I'm a man and I can't provide certain things for women, then I acknowledge that my limitations kind of thing. And I acknowledge that that doesn't make me less of a man because I can't provide for a woman. I provide what I can, and if they're not happy with it, then they're not the one for me. And that's true for both genders. I'll drink to that. In a vacuum, she's promoting a dangerous slavery mindset. The idea that if you have individual choices, it makes you offensive. But at the same time, you're being controlled by some bigger fucking bullshit. It's so stupid, dude. Women. This is not real feminism. Feminism is about the emancipation of all women from the patriarchy, not just some women. You okay, let's Google. When I last Googled the definition of feminism, it was gender equality based off of female equality. Therefore, if women expect men to provide, then maybe you should be expected expected to be a trad wife. That's how it is. You expect men to, to provide for you, but then you don't want anyone to provide for you. That's toxic. And men have the same attitude because of the patriarchy and because of how sexist society is. And it's just women and men being sexist towards each other. It's all it is. Are embarrassing. I love all these people like nobody's condemning trad wives. And then there's like Nobody's condemning <sighs> Fuck that. I need a drink. Nobody's con condemning trad wives. If you see a woman who loves to be a traditional housewife, you see all these fucking bullshit double talk, double speak, fucking hate comments. From women who are jealous because they can't cook, they don't have the body or the face she has, or from like incel men who are trying way too hard to get laid. And it's just like, it's what it is, dude. Hundreds and hundreds of comments and articles and videos of people condemning <laughs> fried wife until their toddler shits on them and their husband of 12 years, their senior, punches them out for not having dinner ready at five. Trad wives until their baby shits on them and their husband of 12 years, their senior, punches them out for not having dinner ready by 5 o'clock p.m. Exactly. Fuck your stereotypes, dude, and fuck sickos. You know, if I'm hungry and I have a woman who's willing to cook for me, I'm going to help her cook and be like, I don't care if dinner's ready by 5 o'clock on the dot. You know what I'm saying? I get to spend time with my girlfriend. I love to cook and I love to spend time with my woman. So I get to do two things at once. That's killing two birds with one stone. Yeah, exactly. You realize when you hit 40, your husband is going to start having sex with one of your teenage... And then you fucking sit there and go, what kind of fucking relationship are these women having? You realize that when you hit 40, your husband is going to start having sex with one of your teenage daughter's friends, right? Oh, you're 18, you're younger and so naive and like, fuck you. Not everyone's going to have the relationship that, that Will Smith and his wife have. Her friends, right? You know she's getting it from Tyrone. 
You know she's getting it from Tyrone while her husband watches. That's a little bit fucking racist, replying, the person replying to carry on folks via whatever social media app that is. The assumption that because he's black, he's got a bigger dick, and he's automatically cucking you. Like, wow, dude. You try to stand up for, like, gender equality, and it makes you come off as a super racist. Husband watches. Writing whole-ass fan fictions about a woman they've never met. Oh, I bet she's so miserable. I bet he... Exactly, shoe on head. Writing fan fictions and assuming... Shit about this poor woman that they've never met. I can relate to that. Because as somebody who does YouTube videos, I'm King Cobra JFS. And people just write the most negative, fucked up fan fictions about me. Assuming that it's going to change who I am as a person. And when it doesn't work and it just makes my trolls look like sickos, they get so fucking mad, dude. And it's like, no one's forcing her to watch my videos. It's her. Oh yeah, I bet she's cooking her husband for Tyrone. <laughs> Tried wife is when white blonde with big booba. Real tri- <laughs> Wives don't have big fake tit. Again, that, that's just slut shaming because you don't have the big boobs she has. Real trad wives are not blondes with big tits. Real trad wives don't have big fake tits. So you assume that they're fake because you're jealous that your boobs are not big enough and that society is systematically oppressive of women who have smaller boobs. So instead of being like, I'm going to take it out on society and be like, fuck them, all boob sizes are beautiful. Instead of being like that, you're going to slut shame the chick who's got a nicer pair of tits than you do. Right. Stupid bitch with fake tits. Every single Treadwife account is just softcore porn from women with massive tits. This <sighs> giving off OnlyFans vibes. This is a fetish. She says in the This is a fetish. She says in the video under she choose this life and she did it as a choice to be this stupid. She better have the craziest 50-50 permitual agreement in the fucking world. The idea that, okay, if women, women should not be forced to choose the trad wife lifestyle, but if they choose it, and they're good looking, and they have confidence in what they do, people can't stand it. I'm like, instead of attacking trad wives, why not have confidence in yourself as a woman with what you do? Instead of slut shaming the woman that you're clearly jealous of because... She has dick in a man who cares about her, and you don't. I wonder if she chose this life, and she did. Or if you're a man who wants a, tra wants a traditional woman, but you can't just say that because you get called a sexist. Because everyone's just fake as shit. It's a choice to be this stupid. You call yourself trad, and yet you have big... A checkmate. This right here is pure, distilled coom brain. I implore you to step out of your goom... I gotta take a piss. And piss on Jeffrey Epstein's grave. Ah. Hey, even get some fresh air, please. Just because you find the woman hot doesn't mean it's porn. Can we stop calling? Thank you! Thank you! I've been saying that for a minute, for a hot minute on my channel. <coughs> Just because you find something sexually attractive does not automatically make it porn. I've been saying that for a hot minute on my channel. Like, if you go to a, a, 
I found bleh. I'm feeling good right now. I'm gonna pop two more of these kratom pills. You go to a, a an animal farm petting zoo, and you get a boner from watching that goat. That doesn't make it porn. It just means you have fucking issues. Fetish? Oh, thank God. Somebody normal. This is a well-documented white nationalist online trend. Oh my God. Can we stop calling this a fetish? This is a well-documented white nationalist online trend. The idea, again, is just like, you don't like it, you don't agree with it, and instead of arguing your talking points, you can't handle that someone else has an opinion that disagrees with you, so automatically it's just white nationalist BS. There's nothing wrong with women want, wanting to be a traditional wife, and there's nothing wrong with men wanting to be the provider, and there's nothing wrong with the genders roles, the gender roles being switched. You make it work as a couple, that's what it should be about. It shouldn't be about gender politics. If you love the person, you'll make it work. And furthermore, you shouldn't have to sacrifice your happiness and your well-being just to get some sex. Oh, God damn it! Tried wife, but she uses social media, lol. If she's such a tried wife, why is she on an iPhone? If she's so traditional, why is she using a cell phone? This sounds like conservative boomers when they're like, Oh, you're a socialist? How come you have an iPhone? Impossible to be a traditional wife when I'm a male. Hey, that is not true. It is 23. We support- I totally agree. agree. It's not possible for- me to be a traditional trad wife because I'm a male? Fuck that. You want to call me a simp white knight trad husband? I'm all for it, dude. And I don't care if she provides for me what I provide for her. It's all about being the bigger person. You want to fucking survive in your romantic relationships? You and your other half are having a fight. It's like... Pride husbands and boy wives on this channel. This would be fine if it weren't for all the whiny pick me sh This would be fine if it weren't for all the whiny pick me shit. Nobody cares if you want to cook and have big titties. Go have fun. If nobody cared, you wouldn't attack this woman for having big titties and being able to cook. Jesus Christ, people are so stupid and predictable. It's fucking irritating. If nobody cared, you wouldn't be whining about, oh, this woman chooses to be a trad wife, and it triggers me because you're an incel who wants a woman like that, or you're an ugly-ass female with fucking small-ass titties and no ass, and you hate men, and you can't find a man to provide for, or a man to provide for you. So you take it out on these trad wives on TikTok. Nobody cares if you want to cook and have big titties. Go have fun. Imagine being so insecure with your mis- ha! Imagine being so insecure with your miserable life, you have to do some 1950s Nazi cosplay to get any male attention, lol. Imagine being so insecure with not being able to have anybody. You have to attack somebody who's happy with their life. I get why you're attacking her, but okay, you do realize that 1950, the World War II was well over by then. So it, that just makes your fucking hate comment historically inaccurate, you stupid motherfuckers.
Imagine being so triggered that you can't provide for a man or have a woman to provide for you. You have to fucking write this shit to like make yourself feel better. Okay, so if I don't have the hot goth chick in my dreams, you don't see me attacking people because they have it and I don't. That's what separates me from the crazy, fucked up, chaotic society we live in. Life, you have to do some 1950s Nazi cosplay to get any male attention. LOL. Did pick you, sis? Pick me, pick me, pick me. Hope he picks you, queen. Pick me. Oh. And you can't tell me, you want to give women shit for exorbiting these attitudes, this pick-me culture? Men do the same thing. And when we do it, we get simp shame for it. So fuck you to the moon, as Isaac Butterfield once famously said. You know what I'm saying? When you have women and men who treat each other like crap and everyone's just sick of all the gender politics and double standards. And it's like, hey, you know what? I'm being told this is what women want. I want a woman. If I get sex out of it, it's a bonus. But like, so then because of that, this is how our society is. This idea that women want this and men want that. And it's so fucking toxic because not everyone wants the same thing. So maybe you're a chick and you're ugly and you don't got the biggest tits and your ass is kind of flat. And you think you'll never find a man. Stop that. Stop that. That's maybe the Jack Daniels talking, but stop that. Where's the inner goddess? Let it roar, YouTube. You may not have a place with someone like me, but you'll find someone. I'm allowed to have high standards because women are allowed to ha have high standards. And I believe in gender equality. Go fuck yourself. What a woman has to do to get picked is exist. I don't think she needs to make a big... That's pretty much the point. Fucking shoe on head. Exactly my point. Women don't have to try that hard to get picked. You know, basic female grooming. Even if you don't groom as a female should, there's some dude out there who wants it. It may take you longer, but that's beside the point. If women want to get picked on the dating scene... All they got to do is show up and say yes. That doesn't necessarily mean that women are going to be happy with their choices. So like a lot of men who might get jealous of like female privilege. You know, with privilege comes price. And you as a man, you're very much aware of that. Cheers. To go on TikTok to get male attention when she looks like this. Oh. No, it's not that hard to get male attention when you look like uh, that. But then again, it's not that hard to get female attention when you're an attractive guy who stands up for female rights. So you like you want to give this this poor woman shit. Because she chooses to be a traditional housewife. No one's forcing her. She just chooses it. If she's being forced into doing it, then that's fucked. Be serious. And also, can we just talk about this pick me shit? Pick me is an insult people throw at women when they aren't towing whatever the current NPC line is. So yeah, well, I would also agree slash disagree. That's also for men. In my opinion, this whole pick me culture we live in, where it's like you got some, you got half of the men doing it because they want to get laid. And then the other half is because they want to find some female companionship. And if they get laid out of the, as a result, it's a bonus. But nobody looks at that and goes, not all men are the same. Nope. They see it and they, immediately gravitate towards all men are the same, and I'm sick of it. Uh, oh, fuck.
These people calling this woman a pick me have only fans in their bios. You literally financially rely. And here's the thing of it. If you have a pick me attitude about dating, fuck you. Stay confident with who you are as a person. And if it's really needed, then you change your personality. But outside of that, I've had people who tell me, Cobra, if you didn't dress goth, you'd have more chicks. And I'm like, fuck that. I don't care. I'm not afraid to be my goth, autistic, heterosexual self. And if that bothers people, that's their fucking problem. We live in a society where if men give too much shits about getting laid, it's like all men are pigs. But if they don't give a fuck about getting laid, then they get called a faggot. And I'm like, fucking society anymore, dude. Because it's irritating because there's nothing wrong with being gay as long as you're not a sicko. And if men can't get laid and they bitch about it just like all these fucking feminazi fourth wave cunts on BuzzFeed, they get told they're not real men. Okay, so when, like, when women and men experience similar emotions and you're like, you're legitimately going, holy crap, I hear a woman bitch about this shit and I feel the same way. You acknowledge that and go, now I understand women just a little bit better. Our society would tell you to ignore that and, and to continue fighting with them. Because there's some asshole who hasn't had pussy in like 8 to 10 years going through a dry spell longer than mine. And they can't handle it when people are getting laid. So they got to spread, spread toxic messages because they ain't getting laid. And that's the truth for women and men. on being picked by men. If men didn't pick you, you'd be out of a job. And I'd have like 5,000. So yeah, that's what's ironic about it is all the women who are giving these trad wife shits have an OnlyFans. And it's like, if you didn't jack off to their OnlyFans and pay for that subscription, you wouldn't have the simps lusting after you. But you want to give trad wife shit because they don't have an OnlyFans. You're a hypocrite. Views per video, but... When I do it, it's based. When you do it, it's cringe. I guarantee I can cook better than her. I can... Now you have a male who's so triggered by the fact that he can't have a trad wife and he can't get laid. He has to comment on social media. They guaranteed that they can cook better than she can, bake better than her, and her boobs are bigger. I just won't wear ugly dresses. I won't be I won't work for a living. I'm not married and I certainly won't submit to a husband if I have one. What the fuck is that shit? This is just slut-shaming at its finest. You have some woman on fucking social media responding to this trad wife like, I guarantee you I can cook better than she can, I can bake better than she can, and her boobs are much bigger. She just doesn't wear ugly dresses, and she won't work for a living. And she's not married. Yeah, that's why you're bitching, because you haven't found a guy to get married to. And she certainly won't submit to a husband if she had one. Women are put underneath the same pressures to get married as a guy is to be pressured to have sex. And when you can't get it, society craps on you for it. And it just shows you how toxic society is.
What happened, Chad? I thought you were going to get her number, you little pussy. Make better bread than her, and my boobs are bigger. Okay, yeah, you see all this crap, but it's like, where's the proof? You're just some random commenter hating on a chick because she's hotter than you are. Don't wear ugly dresses, and I work for a living. Ugly dresses, and you work for a living. That's because women are being told you have to choose between a career and having kids. And that's not me saying it. That's not the patriarchy saying it. As I've said before, this is just Mother Nature. It takes years to develop a career and to become that hashtag girl boss. It doesn't just happen overnight. So women are being forced to choose between having a family or having a career. And it kind of triggers me as a MGTOW feminist because it's like, you know what I'm saying? Men can have all these pills that give them their boners back, but women can't have a pill that gives them their fertility back. Women are being shoved birth control down their throats where it's like, you have to choose between having a, a, a family or having a career. And I'm like, fuck that shit, dude. I'm not married, and I certainly wouldn't submit to a husband if I had one. It's not about submitting to your husband or your girlfriend. It's about 50-50. It's compromise. That's what dating's all about in today's society. What it should be about, you know? Your girlfriend does things you want her to do. And you're not comfortable with it, but you put up with it because you love her. And in return, she does the same thing. That's how it should work, but what do I know? I just can't imagine living here. And it's pretty sad. And Sam Lincoln. She won head like. Mm. Sorry, I was uh, trying to find your fucking point. I'm actually a lot better and hotter than her, and I'm not married. Okay. I want her to peg me. Oh, I don't know how that one got in there. Sorry. I wish America could go back to the 50s when things were simpler. I'm secretly gay. I have polio. I'm not allowed to wear pants or go to college. I beat the shit out of my son and molested my daughter, and no one will ever do a goddamn thing about it. I can't get through my day without a shit ton of drugs. Most of those things still happen today. But the being on drugs one is funny because it's like, yes, it's true, women were on a shit on of drugs back then but i really gotta ask like do you know how many people are on ssris how many people require them to function every day the, the average woman is on nowadays would kill a 1950s housewife i only take my adhd medication sometimes but i should be on like four other pills i'm prescribed but i simply do not take them because i refuse to be a walking big pharma cocktail and my mental illnesses make me funnier i'm sorry i gotta say i feel that she won head, I feel that. My mental illnesses make me funnier and more entertaining. Yeah, exactly. One person comments, I'm sorry, I gotta just say it, but all she's doing is dressing cute and cooking and cleaning. That's what trad is. No, it's called basic life skills. Women and men naturally... <laughs> acknowledge the opposite sex when they dress cute or handsome or seductive and that cooking and cl cleaning should be a basic uh, human life life set mm. but all she's doing is dressing cute and cooking and cleaning is that what trad is honestly i kind of agree with this one. Oh, you didn't door dash mcdonald's you made some ramen noodles tonight how trad. You clean the f***ing toilet. Exactly my point. 
We can't do anything in our society without facing some sort of criticism. Ugh. How trad. You wiped your ass? Trad. I feel like millennials and zoomers have psyoped themselves to believe basic ass- I'm gonna take another piss. There is a big difference between basic human needs and equality. And that's a conversation nobody wants to have. It's like cooking food and cleaning the house are traditional, or even more deranged. Yeah, the idea that cooking food or keeping your house clean is seen as traditional. That's what pisses me off about it about the whole thing as I hear the argument that feminists are trying to make but at the same time it's like being able to cook, cook food keep your bills paid and and keep your house clean these are just basic human needs white supremacy tribe wives sexist Oh my fucking god, the stupidity never ends. <laughs> Trad wives, sexism as a gateway to white supremacy. What the fuck? These people who have way too much time on their hands, they're either some ugly ass chick who can't get laid, who can't cook, who, who can't find a man, or you're some fucking incel piece of shit who hates women and you can't get laid. And all of a sudden it's just like, oh, trad wives. Well, fuck them. They're a representation of sexism in our society. Yeah, but what if they choose to be like that? Well, that's not their choice because of patriarchy. And I'm like... You don't get to say it's offensive just because you're offended. Like, I hear the argument that feminists are trying to make when it comes to the whole tra trad wife thing. But if you were in her shoes and you're doing it because you wanted to, not because society told you to, you, you would feel attacked for doing it when society is just like, Oh, I know feminism is all about free choice, but if you choose to be a part of tradition, tradition, then you're a piece of shit. If you try to attack a woman for not being a housewife, you would be called a fucking sexist, slut-shaming piece of shit. So then when you attack a woman for being a, a traditional housewife, extreme hypocrisy vibes. As a gateway to white supremacy. A common <laughs> Everything you don't like is linked to white supremacy. Suck <laughs> my dick. among the haters of our trad wife friends is implying or even outright accusing them of covertly or overtly selling white supremacy to young women. 
No one's going to argue that white people have had a nasty, 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 fucked off history of treating everybody else like shit. But not everything we do is linked to that horrible time in white people's history. So I'm tired of everyone being like, well, you automatically support white supremacy because you're white. And I'm over here like, you don't even fucking know me. Quit assuming my gender-based, race-based stereotypes. There's nothing wrong with yearning to raise kids, bake bread, and keep a tidy home while your husband brings home the bacon. However, the most telling aspect of the Trad Wives hashtag is the other half of the term, wives. Women defined by their relationship to men. From the pers You want to whine about how women are defined by their re relationship with men? I'm like, join the fucking club. That's exactly how men feel it. As men, we're being told all women wa want is assholes. How all men want is sex. And if we try to get laid, we're a simp. If we don't try to get laid, we're a faggot. And I'm sick of it. <laughs> Using homophobia to degrade men. It's like, it's the level of, this is how our society is. <coughs> Cobra is taking a hit out of a vape pen that is pink and purple. That's super gay. And it's like, okay, this is a free vape pen that one of my fans sent me. I'm trying it. I like the way it tastes. Fuck you and your homophobia and your fucking stupid jealous hypocr hypocrisy. If people c calling me gay are secretly gay for Cobra, then they can't admit they have a sexual attraction to me, and they're jealous of my videos. And all the fame that I get. Perhaps the most telling aspect of trad wives hashtag is the other half of the term wives. Women defined by their relationships to men. Okay, men are being defined by their relationships to women, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> From the perspective of men, especially men at the of the alt right, so of course you got to make it about politics. It's not about basic human needs or personal opinion. It's because you're either a lunatical, lunatic, radical leftist, or you're part of the lunatic radical right. There is no in-between. This is what pisses me off about being an independent. Specifically men of the alt-rights, the Tradrives tr trend articulates not only women's rows over their choices, but also how the manosphere brings to get together, together those who feel blindsided by the feminist movements. Okay, so when women bitch because men take away their rights, it's accepted and they're told you can have equality. But when women take away men's rights, we're being told to shut the fuck up and check your privilege. How is that a equality? If I'm not allowed to treat women like sh shit because every woman I've liked since the fourth grade <laughs> has rejected me and they all hate men, but, but if I respond to it, I'm the incel piece of shit, right? Fuck you, dude. Women in the other side bitch about how much they get hated and how much they want equality. 
But in today's society, it's perfectly okay to crap on somebody for being white, straight, cisgendered, or, ma or male. It's what it is. If you think having more privilege and equality to my cisgendered ass is going to make your life better, it's only going to make it worse. If you want people to support your movements, but then at the same time you demand to have more privilege because you think you're better than everybody else because of the oppression your people have faced, and because white, cisgendered, straight, heterosexual men are assholes, then fuck you and your hypocrisy. You'd be throwing the biggest fit if it was still like the 1950s. Like, everybody wants to throw cracks at this trad wife. But, like, you wouldn't ha have the platform to bitch about the trad wife if it was still like the 1950s. So go fuck yourself. Active of men, specifically men of the old right, the trad wife's trend articulates not only women's roles over their choices. Crap on the, on the right. Fuck you. Donald Trump and his locker room talk. It's so offensive to to women. And I'm over here like, women talk the exact same way about men when their boyfriend's not around. And it's just their girl, their gal pals. It's the truth. You want to crap on Donald Trump for his locker room talk? But women talk the same way about men when they th think their boyfriend and nobody they care about is wa watching. And they think to themselves, it's just girl talk. But it's only sexist when men do it. Fuck you. Also, how the menosphere brings together those who feel blindsided by the feminist movement and want to teach women how to take care of their men and give birth to more white babies. This Furthermore, if women want to take care of their man, what's wrong with a man wanting to return the favor and take care of his woman back? It's what it is. Women who are trad wives get slut shamed. And men who return the favor get simp shamed, and I'm sick of it. So sexism functions as a gateway to white supremacy, men bonding over misogyny and rallying for the white race. So as far as I can tell... <laughs> men bond over misogyny? Then what the fuck do you call it when not all men are the same? But, like, three to four women have experienced shitty men, and now it's all men are the same, but if you assume all women are the same, you're a sexist. Some of these trad wives mention being white or whiteness or any of that. These people are... Because, oh my god, the traditional trad w wife is seen as unacceptable in our society, even though it's all about freedom of cho choice for women. And instead of sticking to the talking points, they automatically have to make it about you're white, so automatically you're a racist. <sighs> Kind of convinced that's what this is. That these homemaking lifestyle videos are actually a dog whistle, luring people into the alt right. Like me in 2015 when I said man spreading, and then you went down the right wing rabbit hole. <laughs> 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 Behind the man spread it. Fuck off. If you see a dude who's just sitting there like this, because if I do this right here. See my legs? 
It squashes my testicles between my legs. It's super uncomfortable as a man with balls. So I manspread so my balls can breathe. And then women get so triggered by, by it, they're like, quit manspreading. And my response to that is, hey, honey, my eyes are up here. If you want to stare at my dick and balls, can I take take you out for a bite to eat first? That doesn't work with men because if women are sitting there just minding their own business and they don't want to squeeze their boobs between their arms and feel uncomfortable, so they sit in a position as a female that makes them feel comfortable with their body. You can't go up to a woman and be like, you're just slut spreading. Quit tantalizing me with your fucking tits, you little fucking cunts. If you tried saying that as a man, they'd be like, quit staring at my boobs, you fucking incel creep. And I'm like, aren't double standards just delightful? Every time a woman tried to explain her situation, it's like, you're just girl guilting because you want men to feel sorry for you because you have a period. Women would fucking hate it. But that's exactly what it's like to be a man in our society. And at the same time, women are not allowed to have an opinion. They were allowed to for a brief minute. But then all of that shit got overshadowed overshadowed by the trans community. That before trans became trendy, there were men wearing makeup and it had nothing to do with their sexuality or their gender ideology. I covered this in my last video response regarding gender politics. That Cradle of Phil show was so fucking perfect. I have no complaints complaints about it. It was seriously awesome being able to see one of my favorite bands live. Like seeing Danny Filth live was seriously surreal for me as an avid Cradle of Filth fan. And because Danny Filth and Ozzy Osbourne are my idols, it was like you got to see your other, your other idol live in concert for the first time. And it was just perfect. I didn't care about getting laid. I didn't care if people noticed me. It was about like... I'm not cradle of filth. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to buy a fucking t-shirt from the cradle of filth concert. And fuck the trolls. Is of the online trad wave movement. Trad ideology doesn't just extend to the 1950s housewife. But Beyond the rise of online trad wife movement, trad ideology doesn't just extend the 1950s housewife videos, it also has sinister connections with right-wing extremism. Oh my fucking god. Shut the fuck up. You can't support transgendered rights without someone being like, that's just the left with their extremist views. You can't support a woman who chooses to be a cisgendered trad wife without someone being like, that's just the extremes of right, right wing agenda. I'm just so sick of it. It also has sinister connections with right wing extremism, experts say. There was so much of this that even S.D. Williams, the main character of this anime, had to come out and say this. I do not support anything like white supremacy. I don't want to be associated with anything like that. Well, too bad, bitch. The experts are here. The experts or the internet, there's a difference. Time to start eating better. If only it were that easy. Fresh and Lean thinks of it. An Uber Eats app. Who wants to eat better? 
I'm going to eat because I enjoy eating, and I'm going to eat what the fuck I like and fuck what anybody else has to say. I, I don't give a fuck if I become morbidly obese from eating my deep-fried burritos. You can go fuck yourself. I discovered a way to make chimichangas in the oven, and I'm like, I'm going to share this with YouTube. Roll your burrito, smother it in butter spread, bake it in the oven. There you go. Um, it's getting blood and soil. Like, you know, I just think that if I was part of the movement that had a lot of... If you were part of the movement and you personally chose to be a housewife... Not because of sexism or racism or any of that shit, but because that's what you want, wanted to do. And then you had a bunch of jealous men and women slut-shaming you for it. You wouldn't be able to handle it. Also, happy birthday to... Richard Schofter, one of my childhood friends growing up. Uh, yeah, man, he's 25. Excuse me, I fuck, fuck that up. Blah. He's 32, just like I am. He was born on the 25th. I was born on the 26th. That's where I got, got it confused. But yeah, shout out to Richard Schofter. Ha happy 32nd birthday, brother. That's what's up. Crossover with fascists and neo-Nazis and Nazi culture. I would How is it fascist? <laughs> if a man or a woman chooses to have a traditional role in society, society because they want to make someone else happy and that's what make makes them happy oh no can't have that this just circles back to my personal opinion opinion where everyone is offended everything's sexist ev everything's racist everything's misogynistic and you're not allowed to have an opinion yeah, you're being told by everyone else to respect your opinions, otherwise you're a bigot. <laughs> How does that work, YouTube? Be sure that my propaganda for my lifestyle did not, like, emulate the 1920s and 30s. Just, just how I do stuff, though, you know. First of all, what is this voice? I see you're happy. Do you know who else was happy? Not it's that lazy Gen Z older millennial voice. Like, oh my god. Propaganda. This like fake apathy shit is just as performative as putting on a 1950s housewife dress and doing little cosplay on TikTok. Let's be serious for a second. Let's be serious for a second. Just because she puts up on a dress. Doesn't mean she's some 1950s cosplay housewife. Like, okay, yes, yeah, so you're going to have clothes and items of fashion from a certain generation. That does not mean that you identify with that generation's of politics. Maybe you're like, hey, I like the way the 50s clothing looks, the leather jackets. Your hair's in a pomodor. You look like a grease monkey. Like you want to work work on some cars, you know. So I get that. <laughs> but that doesn't reflect personal. Well, at least it shouldn't reflect personally upon your <laughs> personal life opinions. Nobody doesn't care that much. And for the love of God. <laughs> If people didn't care that much, they wouldn't feel the need to, like, slut-shame the fucking trad wife on YouTube or Twitter or what have you. 
our society being like, I'm going to get offended for you because I care so much. I'm like, instead of being like, I'm going to get offended on your behalf, how about getting offended when someone else is offend offended? That's a more reasonable approach, but what, what the fuck do I know? Bend your eyeshadow! The desire to live in the 1950s ignores the reality of that decade. It's not a desire to live in the 1950s. I get so sick and tired of this crap. Like, yes, I gotta take a piss. Man, the alcohol is going right through me. This is what I'm saying. Women get slut-shamed no matter what, what they do. And it's so irritating. I can't begin to imagine what that's like. The desire to live in the 1950s ignores the reality of that decade. Nobody is desiring to live in the 1950s. Although, like... All grease monkey comments aside, the 1950s had some really sweet cars. And now it's like you can't even support classic cars from the 50s without someone calling you a, a racist. I'm like, you're assuming that everyone's an asshole and that you have to be offended for everybody, everybody else. And that's the problem with our society. Like, my dream car is a 1959 Cadillac Superior and Loader Crown Royal Landauet Hearse. 59 Crown Royal and Enduet Land... Blah, tongue twisted. A 59 Cadillac uh, Superior Coach Works and Loader Hearse. That's my dream car. With a Shelby Cobra 428 dual exhaust. But that's just me personally. Because I happen to think that 59 Cadillac hearses are my favorite cars, that doesn't automatically mean that I have the decade in my head. Like, people are allowed to admire 50 style without being like, this is their political ideology. And this is what's pissing me off about about society, is if you want to make some mental gymnastics type bullshit that says, well, if she dresses like a 50s housewife <laughs> and performs her, her what she considers her duties, that maybe the man doesn't provide for her back, and that it's all about victimizing women. Fuck that shit. That can we just acknowledge that if women w want to be trad wives, it doesn't mean her husband beats her. It doesn't mean she's being forced to, to do it. That kind of toxic thinking is just reinforcing stereotypes. And it affects both genders. The same generation that's like, oh, well, if your woman goes out and brings home the bacon, but you want to be a stay-at-home dad, you're a bitch faggot, and your wife owns you. It's like, who the fuck are you to d decide these decisions just because you don't agree with the way I live life?
And that's true to a point, fuck sickos. The problem with the trad wife trend is that it romanticizes a time when staying in the home and marrying a man as. So people argue that what's wrong with the trad wife trend is that it romanticizes a time when staying in the home and marrying a man as a me means of socioeconomic survival was mandatory, while women and people of color and LGBTQ plus community were nowhere near as equal. Yeah, I think you can idolize aspects of that lifestyle without being an asshole. <laughs> <coughs> Like, I can think that grease monkeys are cool, are cool without being like, oh, fuck, X, Y, and Z, you know? You can idolize cer certain aspects of the culture without full-on being like, you know what I'm saying? It's called being trendy, and our society is too familiar with it. Because now trans people are being treated as a trendy th thing versus a lifestyle. Because now that trans people are super important and, mo and more famous based off the fact you're cisgendered and you have no voice in our society. But remember, it's all about equality, right? for socioeconomic survival was mandatory, while women, people of color, and the LGBT community were nowhere near equal. When trad wives glorified this decade, their- <laughs> When trad wives glorify this decade, <laughs> they are glorifying a time that was actually pretty terrible for a lot of people on a related note. Maybe they're just doing it because they want to, and they're not trying to glorify. <laughs> And it just happens to be one of those, you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Because all white people have been pretty racist by our conditioned society from the last couple of decades. Now, as a result, if you're white and you support some form of traditionalism, not all of it, maybe you have some talking points where you're like, you know what I'm saying? You automatically get labeled as a sexist, a rapist, and a ra racist because you're a straight, white, cisgendered male. And at, speaking as somebody who is a straight, white, cisgendered male, I'm sick of it. And then as soon as I complain about it, I get told to check my fucking privilege. And I'm like, hey, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. I acknowledge my privilege, but at the same time, I acknowledge that just because all of you have been oppressed doesn't mean you get to have more rights than I do. That's not how equality works, even though all these individuals bit bitch because they don't have equality. Glorifying a time that was actually pretty terrible for a lot of people. Oh, so you're a trad wife? Have you heard about a little thing called segregation? I don't believe any of these women want to bring back segregation or like... Exactly my point. None of these trad wives want to bring back segregation. It's not about pick me, I, I can cook and clean and give a mad blowjob. It's, it's, it's all about like, hey, people are just trying to find themselves. And some women find comfort in being the traditional housewife. Some women are not for it, and that's just fine. Women don't choose because of being f forced to kind of thing. Like, if you want to be a housewife, do it. If you want to be a career-driven woman, then go for it. The only one that's forcing anybody is society and genetics. Because in today's modern society, because women tend to lose their fertility a lot younger than when men lose their ability to get hard. Women are being forced to choose between a career and having a family. 
And it's fucked up. It really is fucked up. We can make pills that allow men to get their erections back, but we can't make a pill that safely allows women to gain their fertility back. When it comes to prescription drugs, it's all about keeping the man hard and keeping it so the woman can't have kids. But what if she wants wants them? So, like, there's that patriarchal, sexist, feminist, drive bullshit. So, believe me, when people are criticizing the tradi traditional housewife, I get it. But at the same time, if she chooses it, who the fuck are you to judge? Because you choose not to be a housewife. You choose not to be subservient to a man. You choose not to wear makeup. And then when people attack you for not being fem feminine enough, you go off on society and criticize women who choose these things for not being female enough. The hypocrisy is enough to make me want to fucking drink. Polio. In fact, there are a lot of black trad wives too. It's like a whole thing. Honestly. So, like, you want to paint the trad wife as being some stereotypical blonde housewife with big tits while failing to acknowledge that there are members of the Af African American community who choose this lifestyle too. So, all the people who are attacking trad, trad wives are jealous, racist assholes. This is the most feminist I'll ever say. I believe a lot of this bullying that these trad wives are facing comes from an underlying resentment or internal resentment we have towards traditionally feminine behavior. Let me. Well, she's right, but at the same time, when the tradition has been you're the stay at home wife, cook your man a meal, give him his pipe and slippers when he's had a rough day at work. Okay, you want to fight that tradition and be like, that's sexist? I'll drink to that. Fight it. But at the same time, if you got women who choose that lifestyle, then quit slut-shaming them for it. If I got a woman who brings me an ice cold beer after a long, a long day and is like, here's your pipe and slippers, and then she makes me an amazing meal, oh, she gonna get it, dude. I'm gonna eat that pussy out like it's nobody's business. You do for me, I'll do for you. That's how relationships should work. And a lot of that deals with personal communication. And just communicating with, with your partner on what you want. Slip into video essayist mode for a second. Does society hate femininity? I don't know. I don't think so. I disagree. I know that, like... She on heads being sarcastic. So immediately, to prove her sarcasm, she puts on some makeup and some... Puts her hair up, makes it look pretty, and shows a little bit of cleavage. That's kind of how m women have been treated in our society, is if you want to get no noticed, show off your body and put on some makeup. But at the same time, it's like if you sh show off your body or put on some makeup, you get slut-shamed. And that's kind of bullshit because to that counter-argument, if a man puts on some, some cologne or smells good for the ladies and tries to show off his sexier attributes, he gets called a simp. And I'm like, women and men are just try trying to find similar things, man. But it certainly sees it as weak. You see this, of course, with a lot of the right... And that's the problem with it. 
100% that if men are nice to women, they're seen as weak. If women are nice to men, they're not seen as being feminine enough. And then both sides bitch because both sides are assholes. <gasps> Wing macho Drinking Starbucks is feminine and therefore... And if you want to smell sexy for the ladies, check out the link in the description box below. Check out Tactical Soap, coupon code King Cobra. I didn't have to get laid at the Cradle of Filth show to know that women like the way I smell. <laughs> and that's just the goddamn truth. I go to the Cradle of Filth sh show. I don't care about getting laid. It's about seeing Danny Filth live and partying with cr Cradle of Filth and hanging out with my fans and just talking to people and socializing. And as a result, my concert experience was perfect. You stop letting the lack of sex depress you. And stop thinking with your dick and or clit hard on, ladies and gentlemen. You'll find that dating becomes more meaningful. And I'm, I'm at the Cradle of Filth concert doing one of these numbers. I flash the, oh, excuse me, the devil horns. And I'm going like that, waving my arms, flashing devil horns. Any chick standing beside, beside me or behind me was immediate, Im, immediately like, that goth dude wearing the cowboy hat smells good. And these are personal experiences that I've had while wearing the soap. And by not trying anything, you make her want you even, even more. Reverse psychology is a bitch like that. You rock a tactical soap that makes women horny, horny and then you don't try anything. You see what I'm saying? It becomes her choice. You chose to wear a tactical soap that makes of-age women horny and make you smell irresistible to the women. Now that's her, her choice on whether or not she wants to fuck you. You have the weapon and the tools and the manipulation and all the good stuff that makes women go, Shit, you smell good. And then by not trying anything, you make her feel more comfortable with her, with her decision to fuck you because you're wearing the tactical soap. Men who, who wear tactical soap and then expect to get laid because they're wearing a pheromone product have the wrong attitude. A tactical soap gentleman will rock the tactical soap products, and even if he's not getting laid, he gets off on the fact on the fact of she smells you and she goes, that dude smells good. F fuck me. When you do all this crap, you subconsciously and psychologically make women want to fuck you by not trying anything. By caring about women's rights because you care, and by smelling good. It's just basic human psychology. Women have it hard too, and I see it through this video, so I'm like, you know, all jokes aside, I sympathize with women when it's like, you're being t told by a society that you have to have these gender-based expectations. And if you act upon it, you're criticized. And if you don't act upon it, you're criticized. But you also see it on the left, or at least the liberal left. Liberal Hollywood, to be exact. You see it on both sides. 
at shoe on head. The extremes of either side ruins it for decent people in the middle. And it's being disguised as progressivism. We see this a lot, but the two that immediately... That's what it is. Shoe on head ain't, ain't wrong about that. Bullying white, straight, cisgendered ma males because everyone else has had to face oppression. It's being seen as progressivism. I see it as hypocrisy, even if the uh, aggression is mild. One second. Now, for centuries, us men have been trying to devise a product that makes us smell irresist irresistible to women. And by rocking tactical soap and not trying anything, you're getting women in the mood. And it shows that you're a gentleman and you can whip wait patiently so if you're using tactical soap in that regard regards with the attitude of i want to be confident and i want to smell sexy for the women there you go <laughs> the way whip women react around me when adult women react around me when i wear the tactic tactical soap like, holy shit, you smell sexy. Damn. That's enough to get me off. I don't gotta get laid to appreciate this awesome soap. And if you want to smell like King Cobra JFS, check out Tactical Soap. Coupon code King Cobra. Link description box below. You know what to do. Buying Tactical Soap through my affiliate link and using my coupon code helps me make money and it helps you smell better for the women in your life. You go to the bar and it's just like you don't get anything. You go from getting nothing to being like, okay, that dude smells sexy. It's a confidence booster. <laughs> Speaking as somebody who's been told no by every chick I like, I refuse to hate women because of that. I might have been told no by every chick I've liked since the fourth grade, and I flat out fucking refuse to hate women because of it. <laughs> I don't hate them. I hate the dating scene we live in, and that's why I do what I do on YouTube. It's not, it's not about me getting laid. It's about women and men better understanding each other. And being like, I never thought about it that way. And it's like, but it doesn't get taken as, as that. It gets taken as, Cobra, you're an asshole. You come to my mind are Lola Bunny and the green M&M. Okay, yes, this sounds silly, but hear me out. Watching Tucker Carlson's obsession with the green M&M losing her sexy boots was hilarious. But it is kind of weird. With Tucker Carlson being like, oh, yeah, the green M&M lost her sexy fuck-me hooker boots. And she traded it in for some tennis shoes. The idea that items of clothing are defining us as people. This is why I agree with trans people. This, I, this idea that, oh, you wear a dress, so automatically you're a girl. Or if you wear baggy pants, you're automatically a guy. Fuck that shit. But that's where I draw the line, you know?
the vice president of Eminem, said they changed up her boots for sneakers to signify... So the vice president of Eminem says Jane Ha Ha Wang, global vice president of Eminem, said the brand wants green to signify empowerment and confidence. Amen to that, and to be known for more than just her shoes. At the same time, time growing up as a '90s baby. I didn't put too much thought into the green M&M shoes. She was represented as a female character, and I was like, that's pretty boss. I didn't think for once, you know, that's what I mean by when people get offended on someone else's behalf. They're so worried about protecting their brand, which I get. That it's like, oh God, if the fe if the fucking green M and M has hooker boots, everyone's gonna be off offended. And I'm like, it's an animated character representing candy. If you get offended by that, then you have more problems than I do. Empowerment and confidence. There's also Lola Bunny losing her bunny curves. And the director of Space Jam 2 said it was because it's important to re- So Lola Bunny in Space Jam 2, she's not dressed like she was in Space Jam 1. That's the problem with it is sex cells and females are overly sexualized in our society. And then when you get what you want and it's too much to handle, now it's sexist and perverted. Director Malcolm D. Lee says the change was made because we caught off guard, we were caught off guard by the original Lola Bunny's very sexualized look. The authenticity. And you know what pisses me off about that? That women cannot show off their figure without being sexualized. The very sexualized look. It's like, how about you suck my MGTOW feminist cock? But the reason why men have so much hatred in our society, and the reason why women are put under these so much pressure, is because men are being pinned as these rape-hungry, sex-crazed assholes, and women are being defined by their looks. And I'm sick of it, because men get defined by their looks, too, and what they can achieve as far as gender relations goes. But nobody talks about it, because it's all about victimizing women in our society. ...of strong, capable female characters. So why exactly is traditional femininity, whether it's female clothing or female bodies, Seen as the opposite of strong and empowering. What That's the truth. Why is it that the idea of a female body is seen as degrading and you have to cover it up to be empowered? And whether you would choose to, to cover it up or not is your choice. But it's like if you cover it up, you get told you look so much prettier if you showed it off. And then as soon as you show it off, you get slut-shamed and being told you need to be more modest. <laughs> Fuck that. I can't begin to imagine what women go through. The idea of, okay, if you show off your natural female curves, then you're just contributing to a male horny patriarchal rape society. But if you don't show it off, you're being told by the same assholes, you'd look so much prettier if you wore some makeup and showed off your figure a bit. Fuck that. Do women need to be masculine to be considered strong? Yes! Why is that? Why is that? Why are women being told you need to be masculine to consider being strong? It's because men are physically tougher than women when it comes to upper body strength. 
men are the tougher sex when it comes to physicality. So because of that, Mother Nature's a bitch. And like, you know, species adapting to their time. What's the word? You know what I'm, you know what I'm jiving at? Survival of the fittest. So because traditionally women are physically weaker than men, than men when it comes to upper body strength, but that doesn't define us as people because there are women out there who are physically stronger than some men. And then there are some men who are physically stronger than women. That even though these are gender-based sociology ideas based in off of genetics and the funding principles, the funding principles of being traditional doesn't mean you have to go complete bullshit. If a woman wants to be a traditional housewife, that doesn't mean you go that that you know what I'm saying. Like just because a woman woman chooses to be a traditional housewife, doesn't automatically mean she's being oppressed by the male patriarchy and that everything's sexist, everything's offensive, offensive racist, whatever. Just because some women cho choose to be a traditional housewife doesn't mean we're going to normalize some fucked up shit. There's a line in the sand and I'm drawing it. If that triggers you, suck my dick. not just female clothing or female bodies that are considered weak. It's also traditional female personality traits. I'll give you three examples off the top of my- That's just because genetics, mother nature and genetics says that traditionally men are tougher physically than women because of upper body strength and the way women are built. If I was wrong, you want to call me a sexist for saying it? Then why the fuck do you get pissed off when women who have transitioned from men are beating the fuck out of cis women in sports and dominating the competition? And if you call it out for the bullshit, you get told you're a tr transphobe. That just proves that women are tougher than men physically, but at the same time, that doesn't mean shit. Generally speaking, yes. But traditionally speaking, no, because there are plenty of women who are way tougher than men and men who are tougher than women. That Even though genetically speaking, men have more physical strength than women. You want to call me a sexist for saying it, and you're like, fuck you, Cobra. We women demand gender equality. Okay. No one gives a fuck about your opinions. If you get raped, no one says, it's going to be okay. All they say is, suck it up, chica. You got some dick. Why are you complaining? All women want is dick and a wedding ring, so why the fuck are you complaining about rape? That might sound controversial, but that's exactly how men get treated when it comes to rape. Because of this negative stereotype that all men want is sex, and they're all fucking sexist, racist, transphobic, power-hungry pigs, especially if you're white, straight, cisgender cisgendered and male. I'm sick of it. I tell it like it is and what a lot of people are thinking but they're scared to say it because they might get attacked. From the new She-Hulk show, Jennifer Walters has arrived and she wants nothing to do with saving the world. 
she's ready to be honest about life with her newfound powers, juggling her career and dating life. To the Snow White remake, Rachel Ziegler says she's bringing a modern... So the Snow White remake, Rachel Ziegler says she's bringing a modern edge to Disney's live action Snow White. She's not going to be saved by the prince of her dreaming about true love. That's the problem with women, is that when it's expected of you, you don't want it. But when you want it, nobody expects it. And it's like, okay, so if you demand that the man save your life and do all these men-based men gender role type shits, and you're into it, people slut shame you for being a traditionalist. But it's like, if you go against that crap, you, you get accused of being a man-hater. And it's like, that's gotta suck. And furthermore, who gives a fuck if people are race-swapping all these characters? Yes, it's annoying because they're trying, trying way too hard to appeal to a minority and make white people feel more guilty about the shit they already feel guilty about. But at the same time, it's like, okay, so the new Snow White is black or Mexican, and now you're offended, so then don't watch it. You sitting there going off social media like, you better not watch this racist crap. At the end of the day, it just makes you look racist. You want to call it race swapping if you're white you don't get to complain about about that because you're white you may not like the fucking dynamic shift in privilege but tell that to the people who aren't white straight cisgendered and male you don't like it suck history's hip, hypocritical dick and, like, at the same time, you gotta love how this is how stupid our society is. Oh, my God, the live re-adaptation re for Snow White features a woman of color. Now, she wouldn't be Snow White because your skin is tan, not, like, pale white. But who cares? Who fucking cares? It's Disney. Yes, on the one, ha one hand, Disney is appealing to a minority audience and trying way too hard to be like, just like everything else in our society, look how woke we are. And it just comes off as forced and you're trying to like make amends for your white tears. One of my black female of age fans agrees with me on this. She was like, Cobra, I get what you're saying because I feel like, and she said this, as a black woman, she feels like that the whole, okay, we have a black character in Star Wars. Look how progressive we are. She feels like it's being forced and that they don't care and that they're just trying to make up for white guilt and sell their shits. And I completely agree, because all it does is vilify white people and continue to paint the minorities as victims. But outside of that, if you're triggered because the new Snow White features a colored woman, then don't watch it. If people are a fan of Disney and a fan of the classic fairy tales, you can't force someone to think like like you that's just the truth of it edge to disney's live action snow white she's not going to be saved by the prince or dreaming about true love and even the new little and that's what kills me about it in an effort to make these disney remakes more more modern or society in general she is a strong independent woman she doesn't dream about true love and she doesn't need a, a man to save her and that's all fine and dandy, but what happens when a woman, much like a, ma much like a man, wants to spend the rest of their life with somebody who cares about them? It's not about the sex or the pampering, it's just about having companionship. 
And this is just simply a society, society and women's way of saying, I feel just like men when I get rejected, and I can't handle the f fucking being able to relate to the people I hate. So I'm going to justify it by saying, she, she don't need a man in her life. On the, sa on the same note, this sexist I ideology that women need a man to be happy, or that women... Or that men need a woman to be happy. Like, there's two sides to the coin, YouTube. Mermaid remake. I'm really excited for my version of the film because we've definitely changed that perspective of her just wanting to leave the ocean for a boy. And the accomplice. What the fuck is this? And they are complimenting cover story. Bailey explained how 2023's The Little Mermaid left behind the original versions, shades of sexism, and she's really excited for the version of the film because they've definitely changed the perspective of just wanting to leave the ocean for a bo boy. It's way bigger than that. She's about herself and her purpose, her freedom, her life, and what she wants. And I fully agree with that. I hear the argument that women are ma making, how they're not just housewives, they're people too. But like if a woman wants to choose to be a housewife, or if a man wants to choose to be subservient to his female partner... You get shit no matter what you do by both genders who can't find happiness and love. So when people trying to find a way to make it happen, they get criticized because y'all ain't getting laid. Stop thinking with your clit and dick. <sighs> that the only reason the race of the new Little Mermaid's being changed... <clears throat> it's because white people feel guilty about the way they've treated everybody everybody else and everybody else wants inclusion so it's like okay here's a simple solution let's just rape the I almost said rape I meant to say race swamp god damn it let's just race swamp the character fuck rape and it's like, I get why you're pissed off at race swapping, but at the same time, who gives a fuck? If you're offended because the, the new Little Mermaid is, bl is black, then you're a fucking racist. If you're offended because the new Little Mermaid is black, you yourself are a black person and you feel like, you know... Everyone's trying way too hard to appease your ass. Check your privilege. At the same time, yeah, Hollywood is trying way too hard to force progressivism down our throats. <laughs> Rather than letting it happen naturally, it's like, okay, no one's going to want to watch our videos if we're not being woke enough. And it's like, people are sick and tired of the woke BS being preached to like we're too stupid, being told all of our racial and sexual and gender stereotypes, and being told you're not good enough by today's woke standards. And then as soon as you try to support these woke narratives, you get told you're a piece of shit is being brainwashed by society. So how are any of us... Any of us supposed to win? Of herself, her purpose, her freedom. I'm like, be a decent person, fuck what anybody thinks, and just keep doing your thing. And shut the fuck up about this shit. Life and what she wants. As women, we are amazing. We are independent. We are... She continues, as women, we are amazing, we are independent, we are modern, we are everything and, and above. And she's glad that Disney is updating some of those themes. Okay, if women are so amazing, then how come men who are allowed to transition 
are still getting more privileged than you do. And women are amazing in general, but outside of that, it depends. It depends on the individual. Not all women are amazing. You want to have this fucking modern day PC feminist BS that says all women are amazing. We can do no wrong. If a man had the attitude, it would be attacked so quick, so quickly. I gotta take a piss. We are everything and above. I'm glad Disney is updating some of those themes. There are dozens and dozens of other examples, but you get it. If you've been alive for the past 10 years, you get it. Um, I've been alive for the last 10 years. At Shoe on Head. I was born in 1991. I will be 32 tomorrow on Sunday, which is my birthday. Eh. You don't have to do anything for my birthday if all you do is watch, watch my videos and get drunk and stoned. That's awesome too, but if you want to contribute to my birthday celebration, please consider donating to my Cash App or my PayPal, and I will give you a shout out. Although, with my YouTube trolls tricking me, you know, I gotta be a bit more careful with who I give a sh shout out to. The trolls are so jealous that I get to make money doing what I love doing on YouTube. They scare me off from every job I've ever had. My YouTube trolls have gotten me fired from every job I've had here in town. And then when I fight that oppression by just doing my thing and enjoying it and making money doing what I love doing, it pisses off my YouTube trolls. So they think to themselves, okay, Cobra's super autistic. If we pay him for a shout out and he's not paying attention, he'll just shout out whoever just for a quick buck. And it got to the point where I'm like, when some asshole called me a bitch for deleting my latest shout out video because fuck Gary Glitter that piece of shit or Barry whatever his fucking name is and you want to call me a bitch for deleting that video I'm like I don't need your money that much for the most part I'm pretty chill like if the trolls want to talk sh shit and donate money Then I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to block you because this is hilarious. But you call me a bitch for accidentally shouting out a sicko and for my trolls tricking me. I'm like, that's the line that should not be crossed. So if you're going to call me a bitch for protecting my PR and hating sickos, th then I don't need your money that badly. The seemingly unending push of these strong, independent women who don't need no man, who focus- Yeah, that's also a push for men, for men, I feel like. This strong, individual, independent need for strong, of-age women, women who don't need a man in their life. And that's totally encouraged. But if men have the same attitude, attitude, towards women how you're a strong individual independent man you don't need a woman to make you happy you get called a faggot or an incel or a se sexist so I'm like when women feel the pressures that men feel in the same exasperating oppressing oppressing society it's it's only frowned upon when men do it 
reflects on herself and her career. Who has no time for true love or saving the world. Who cares about other people? It's called self-care, sweetie. It's no wonder people see something- And here's the thing of it. If you spend your entire life caring about whether or not you find true love and everyone else's needs, you're going to be miserable. <laughs> and people recognize that. And they're sick and tired of women being put underneath these social expectation ends. That's why you have Velma, the TV show, and like She-Hulk, where it's telling women, okay, if you can't find a man, it's going to be all right. And if men reject you for being too fat, well, well, then they're assholes. There's never a fucking TV show that tells men the same things. Like, okay, if you can't find a woman, it's going to be all right. And if she rejects you for being too fat, then f fuck her for being a whore and a hypocrite about body shaming. Nope, it's you better get your ass to the gym and work out, you fat piece of shit. this, a woman unapologetically embracing her femininity. But what is femininity? At shoe on head? This is the problem with our society, is that the idea and the ideologies of femininity and masculinity are constantly being redefined in our society. Women who bitch because all men are assholes. And then at the same time, society's telling women that all you want is assholes and telling men the same thing. It creates a very toxic culture in our society. That, okay, the clothing doesn't define your decade or what you support. It's just an idiot. It's just an article of clothing. The biggest argument that trans people make is just because a boy wears dresses, that doesn't define his gender. So why can't that argument be the same if a woman wears, like, your housewife dress, that doesn't def define her as her personality? And if she happens to be a trad wife on top of it, and you want to assume the worst so you can be offended and make yourself look like I'm the better person. That's exactly what it is in our society. Everyone wants to be offended by everything so they can try to make themselves out to look like the better person. And because if they dare have their own opinions, then everyone else attacks them. just in style, but in lifestyle. Embracing a lifestyle where she puts her family... Okay, it's not about being feminine or masculine. If you embrace a lifestyle as a woman, as a woman, and it's more traditional, that has nothing to do with your female identity as a woman. This has nothing to do with gender politics. In today's society, where you're being told if you choose to be the subservient housewife, you're a piece of shit. But just because you're the housewife doesn't mean you're subservient. And it, it doesn't mean that you were forced to choose it. Like, I'm so tired of this crap. If a woman chooses to be a housewife, you know, she's a slave to men. If men choose to wear dresses... And maybe dress more feminine, they're automatically a transgendered faggot. Not because maybe they like dressing like it, or this is just who they are as a person. Hashtag I support J Jeffree Star. Fuck the sickos, dude. and her loved ones first, above herself and above her- At the same time, if you're a woman, you're the, the dedicated trad wife. You put everyone else before yourself. I don't care if you're a tra trad wife or not. 
do not sacrifice your own happiness to make someone else happy. Happy, Okay, because you can't make everyone happy. You're just going to make yourself mi miserable doing it. Career, it's no surprise people see that and think it's subversive because it is. Okay, that is it subversive? Is it? That's the question I want to ask Shoe on Head. Is it subversive if she cho chooses to be a housewife? Is it subversive if men choose to be nice to women reg regardless of sex? And as a man, I cannot stand up for women's rights without being told I'm a simp or I'm just gaslighting or white knighting. And then if I don't stand up for women's rights because I'm tired of being ridiculed, I get called a typical sexist male pick. So I'm like, ah! And you can't think for one second that women don't feel the same way, that if they dress se seductive, they get slut shamed, and if they don't, they get told you'd be so much prettier if you dressed a certain way. So it's like fuck all this shit, dude. Includes video essay mode. I look like a drag queen. No, 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 no. Show on ahead. You don't. You don't look like a drag queen. You look like an of age cisgendered woman wearing makeup. There is, of course, another side of this, the conservative side, which believes that all women are just meant to be in the home and that men should do none of the housework. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's bullshit. Just because women choose to be trad wives, that doesn't give you the excuse to be a sexist man, fucking woman hating pig, and then contributing to the bullshit in our, in our society. Because when men act like that, it creates feminazis. You're literally giving feminism, feminism an excuse to hate men by being a pig. Because women have been cunts to you, so you justify it by being a fucking bigger asshole right back. That's human nature. That's how we all function. Like, you're an asshole to me, well, I'll be a big, bigger asshole to you. It's how you play the game, and sometimes that doesn't solve the the issues. Apparently. I do not know how to operate the laundry machine. When my wife said, oh, could you go put the laundry in? I have done it. I have had to act. I'm going to smack you and de demote your male privilege card. If you're a man and you can't cook for yourself, let alone do laundry, if you're so fucking lazy, you can't be like, oh, well, I want to put my un underwear in the hamper basket, this ideology that men, men are too lazy and, we, and we, we rely on women for everything while victimizing women. I'm so sick of it, dude. Let's, let, let's paint men as these rapist, sexist, racist assholes who can't do anything for themselves and then victimize everybody else. And then as soon as anybody tries to bitch about it, it's like, well, you're just slut sh shaming or you're just mansplaining. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. You're just gaslighting, you virtue signaling piece of shit who needs to get laid. And I'm like, sex is not a need. It's a f fucking want. To guide me every step of the way. That is not something that comes naturally to men. I'm sorry, but it is very... Not naturally to men? Fuck your sexism. If you have good parents... My parents growing, growing up, my parents... It's the job of the parents parents to teach their kid 
life skills. This has nothing to do with gender or any of that. If you are like an ad okay, I'm I'll, I'll be 32 years old tomorrow. I can do my own laundry and cook my own fo food. I don't need a woman to do those things for me. I require of age cisgendered non-related consenting of age alive women, fuck sickos, for other things, like companionship. I miss the cuddling more than I miss sex. You know, when I feel like a man when I'm big spooning, when I'm the big spoon and I cuddle a woman, I'm keeping her safe in my biceps, and I feel like I'm providing and doing my 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 role as a man. Th that being said, if a woman wants to big spoon me, I'm all for it. At the end of the day, I have an of, of age cisgendered women touching me consensually, so it's like, can I really complain? Complain? I'm not going to feel demasculated just because a woman wants to be the big spoon. Big spoon. At the end of the day, I'm like, I'm a pervert, but I hate sickos, and I got a woman touch, touching me, so. That a grown-ass man does not know how to do laundry. Apparently, he's not even the- Yeah, what kind of grown-ass man doesn't know how to do laundry? Because the laundry machines in the apartment complex I live in I've already downloaded the app, so if you have money in your account for the Laundry Machine app, you don't have to stuff quarters into the machine, so it's pretty modern. So even I'm able to cook for myself, do my own laundry, and be like, okay, these, these clothes are dirty and they smell funky, put them in the hamper, put them in the laundry baskets. When you see these men who have been raised, you know, and it's just what it is. Women and men want to feel helpless, and they want to feel like that they're being victimized by the opposite sex. And nobody wants to take responsibility for their own decisions. At the same time, it's not my fault. Okay, if a woman dates like 20 men in the course of like five years... And all these men are assholes. And all of a sudden, she bl she blames men for everything. I'm like, you just haven't found the right one, honey. And you want to blame men? You, sh you should blame society for this crap. All right, Drew. Well, this is a trick question because I have not done anything around the house for 40 years. Ben, you answered dishes. Mrs. Shapiro said, I'm not sure Ben knows how to do laundry, so I'll go with the dishes. Ben, your wife... You do realize that I love this apartment compared to my last apartment. This apartment is so much better. The people I rent, rent from are fucking awesome. Upon moving into my one-bedroom apart, apartments, I had things like air conditioning... And a dishwasher. These are luxuries that I did not have at my old apartment. So for me personally, after moving in, into my new apartment, and now this is home, this is where Cobra lives, that's pretty straightforward. Like, okay, your dishes are dirty. It gets to a point where I'm like, I don't even let my sink get stupid full with dishes because I have a, a dishwasher. You know, so if you want to make excuses like <laughs> you're too lazy to have basic f fucking human gr grooming and you can't find the right one. So, of course, you want to blame men and the patriarchy or blame women and feminism for everything. And it's just like people are shits whole ass doctor and you don't know how to work a laundry machine? 
What? Now, although I have a more socially libertarian outlook on this than they do, I do actually agree that one parent staying in the home with the kids is the best thing for a family. But my mom stayed home for a while, and then they switched, and my dad stayed home. That's a stereotype. The experiences are different for different people. And to this day, I have a great bond with both of my parents, and I wonder if that is part of the reason why. I was lucky, and I wish everyone could be that lucky. Being a stay- I was incredibly lucky as a kid growing up because both of my parents had to work to get their degrees. When I was a kid, I can remember living in apartments, a two-bedroom apartment, what's what my family achieved for. Growing up, me and my sister had our own separate bedrooms, and my parents worked very hard to provide for me and my sisters. And I appreciate that. Maybe when I, when I was a kid, I didn't appreciate it as much. But now that I'm an adult and I look back on it, I really appreciate all the hard work and sacrifices my parents made for me. My parent is a junk. I can remember living in a uh, two-bedroom apartment in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And like the living room became my parents' bedroom slash the living room and you had to make it work. You know, I would literally look and see walls of boxes, wall of boxes that were still packed up full of stuff. <laughs> but my parents made it work. And now that my parents have jobs t teaching in their respectable fields, they make decent money. And now I, my, my parents live in a three bedroom house. A basement, a main floor, and a th third floor. And I'm very grateful for my pa my parents, even if we can't hang out all the time, or like even if they can't help me in the immediate moment. I'm very grateful for my parents. You know, when I was a kid, I didn't appreciate my parents, but after living on my own for well over ten ten years. I appreciate them. And honestly, it should pay like a job. I can't think of a more important role in society than raising the... It does pay like a job. If you think about it, you got the single mom who doesn't have a job, but she stays home to raise the kids. Her grumpy boss is her sex partner slash her husband. And the, and the assholes who critique her job are... Her are her ki kids so like you, you see you see a handbag you want as a woman you see a purse and now you gotta ask your husband for that money I can see where a lot of women are like that's degrading and that, like, women should make money for themselves. But at the same time, you got women who are too lazy to have their own job. And then you want to scream about sexism or swallow your pride. And it's just easier to make the man do everything while bitching about equality. My point being, 
is you cannot bitch because somebody chooses to be a stay-at-home housewife because that's what they want. And then bitch because society gives you shit for being a hashtag girl boss. And then you sit there and whine because people don't know your situation. You can't sit there and bitch about equality when it's like you demand that men, that men have less equality and that they should be subservient to you. And if a woman dares be a trad wife, it's automatically sexist and she's just degra degrading herself. How about you go fuck yourself? generation. In fact, this is a major reason of why I consider myself a socialist. I believe culture can trickle down from economics. And I believe certain policies... I agree with that statement at shoe on head. Why you're a socialist? Because social ideologies can trickle down to economics. That's the fucking truth. When women are being expect expected to provide for their man... And when men are being expected to provide for the woman, and yet socially it's like men are the providers. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, women and men provide stuff for each other. Each other. That's just kind of the basic human expectation. If you want to have a healthy relationship, then you got to provide for each other each other like women are being expected to cook and clean and it's sexist men are being expected to be able to build a house and work on cars <laughs> yes it's sexist but these traits don't define you as a person and furthermore if you choose to pursue these tradition traditional roles that doesn't automatically mean you're a sexist or a rapist or whatever you know from my perspective, if a woman wants to be a trad wife, even if I can't have one, I'm like, if it makes you happy and it's what you want, want, do your thing, girl. But at the same time, I don't expect women to be like that because, because then they get called a sexist. And fuck that shit. And it's such hypocrisy when women expect men to provide everything yeah, as soon as men have any expectation towards women, it's automatically an attack on women, and it's automatically sexist. Fuck your hypocrisy and kiss my ass. Policies that people like Matt Walsh and Ben Shapiro might disagree with could make it possible to get back to that time where people can raise a family on one income. If someone is able to live that traditional lifestyle, they are extremely privileged to do so. Privileged, I would say lucky. I would say lucky. I'm so tired of the word privilege being thrown around. Like, you're so privileged. And it's like everyone faces a privilege and everyone faces oppression. If you're a typical, stereotypical married family and the father provides enough money to sustain the money... For him and his wife, both, if his wife says, oh my God, there's this purse I really want. And he's like, how much? And she's like, oh, it's Gucci or Louis Vuitton. And he's like, I don't care. Nothing's too good for my gal. And he buys her it, not because he wants sex, but because he wants his girlfriend to feel appreciated. I'm sorry if that's how it is. Like, men validation you fuck us and give us sex you know and treat us like kings that's how we feel like we're validated women it's the same attitude you give them sex and buy them pretty things and make them feel like you're the hottest chick out of all the women you complain about you know it's all about validation and likes and you can't please everyone in our system in our society. If you are dating somebody who doesn't appreciate what you're laying down, I don't care if you're a simp male 
or a trad wife. You give the relationship 110% and they treat you like shit. You don't need that crap. Because let's face it, men are f***ing broke nowadays. There have been several articles about how women- It's the truth! Men are broke these days because men are expected to make more money. And then when, when we do, women's products cost more m money. So instead of telling women, hey, hashtag girl boss, go out there and make the money for yourself. Women are being women are being victimized in our society and being told they can't provide unless a man provides for them. And I'm like, fuck that shit. Okay, if I can't get laid, I'll masturbate. If women can't find a man to provide for them, then they'll provide for themselves. That's how it should should be. Way too much pressure on finding the one. And it makes dating that much more suckier. I need another beer. Uh, yes, the sh oh, oh, the champagne of Bud Light. Bud Light Platinum. Brewed for the night. Not a sponsor. This idea that women can't kick back with a beer and be like, man, life sucks. And she wants to reach down and maybe sc scratch her cunt and just relax. It's no different than a man who's just like, uh Single because they can't find a man who makes more money than they do. Because no matter- And that's what kills me about the women who call me a pig because I like big bo boobs. And they want to sit there and say, that's an unrealistic expectation. But there are, you, you know what, women are more than capable of controlling their boob size, more than men are for controlling their dick size. And you want to call me a shallow prick because I desire <laughs> of age women who have a nice pair of titties and a curvy waist and a flat stomach and a fucking nice ass and a pretty face. You're a fucking hypocrite. And you can't call it me slut shaming you for being a hypocrite because that just shows that I'm right and, and you're mad as a female that you're just as shallow as the men that you complain about women can say they want a provider women hate the wage gap until a motherfucker asks to split the bill they want some that's the fucking truth women hate the minimum w wage gap until a man says, hey, do you want to split the bill? Like, you shouldn't expect me to pay for everything, and then as soon as I do, you can chime in with, like, you're a strong woman, and I can take care of this myself. So, like, the argument to that is if you were a dude in that situation, offer to pay for half of the meal. That way you feel like, okay, I'm the man. I'm providing, and then she feels like she's a woman and she doesn't need a man to provide for her. At the same time, she wants it. That's the fucking truth. You want to call me a fucking asshole for saying it? But women hate men who try to provide at the same time they want it. Unless, of course, they're a lesbian, and then that's different. Like, that's what it is. Men want the amazing sex that women provide, and women want the amaz amazing attention that men provide for them, but both sides don't want to put in the work. And then when both sides get attacked, it becomes a battle of the sexes kind of thing. It's all women's fault. It's all men's, men's fault. Shut the fuck up. 
husband who can take care of them and take care of their children. Most men can't f***ing do that. They can barely afford to... I acknowledge that I'm not financially stable to raise a family. However, if I built my clock tower dream house and I got an of-age woman pregnant, I would marry her and make an honest woman out of her and I would raise my child the best that I could. The idea of waking up to my kid going, Daddy, 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 what? Can we ring the clock tower bells, can we? Yes. Can we make wands? Yes. What do you want for breakfast, champ? I'm the kind of guy that I'm like, if I built my clock tower dream house, I would build a fort in the backyard with a miniature bell tower to entertain my demon's spawn. You know? But that's just me personally. That if my kid wanted to play guitar just like their dad, I wouldn't force them to do it. But if they took an interest into it, I'd be like, well, you don't have to be a guitar player like your famous autistic dad, King Cobra, JFS. But if that's how you want to play it, then I'll, I'll teach you what I know, you know. Care of them. Let kids be kids. Oh, it is nearly impossible to take care of a family on one income in America today. You know what? You want to acknowledge sexism, but uh, Shoe on Head said it. It is impossible to take care of a family on just one income alone. Groceries have gotten more expensive. Gas has gotten more expensive. So, like, for women, you, you know, everything costs more money because everything women have is fancier, you know? So, on top of that, it's like, oh, you want to raise a, fam a family on top of that? Oh, you're in for a fucking wor world of financial debt. <laughs> and kids get to be a bit easier to raise. Kids get easier to raise when they're past that materialistic it's all about me stage. But some of these assholes never gr grow out of it. And that's why you have these Gen Z assholes who are going on TikTok. And they demand that you respect them, but they shouldn't have to respect you. That's not how life works. I don't care if you're offended. Why? Some people say it's because of capitalism. Other people say it's because of feminism. And some really insane people will say it's a little bit of both. It is a little bit of both. It's capitalism and feminism, like the ideology of you're a man, these are your roles in society. You're a woman, these are your roles in society. You try to fulfill those roles and you get attacked as supporting sexism. If you don't support the, those roles and do your own thing, people get told that you're not feminine or masculine enough, and I'm just so sick of it. The thing is, feminism has completely failed women. To be more precise, lean in. Hearing a woman say that feminism has failed women, that's pretty shocking, sh shoe on head. Pink pussy hat, girl boss, neoliberal feminism has completely failed women. It has to a point because women don't realize how hard men have it and men don't realize how hard women have it. There are some like seriously triggered feminazi man-hating cunts 
who think that just because I'm a man, I automatically have more privilege, and that it's so much easier for me, etc. And then when they get a taste of their own medicine, they're like, I didn't realize how hard men have it. And that's true for men transitioning into women kind of thing. Women aren't fulfilled. Men, for that matter, are not fulfilled. Everyone's depressed, lonely, overworked, atomized. She said it. Women and men are not fulfilled. Everyone's depressed, overworked, and unfulfilled. Otherwise, you wouldn't hear women making videos or comments that are so significant it lands on a shoe on shoe on head type video if you were so happy with your life and you didn't give a fuck that someone else was living their life and being happy with it then you wouldn't be so insecure about your own life yeah. many people men and women are longing for a time that probably will never exist a time that will probably never come back a time of economic security economic growth communities yeah, women and men are crave craving these things at a time where everything was economically stable. But that doesn't mean that now we got to start picking sides. Like, okay, because white cisgendered straight men have oppressed have oppressed everyone that now everyone else has to have more equality, uh, more equality to that white, straight, cisgendered male. Otherwise, it's not a quality, and you're a sexist, racist, transphobic, etc., etc. And I'm like, demanding more equality while bitching because you don't have equality? That's not how life works. Unions, higher wages, affordable housing, racism, lobotomies, back when they put real cocaine in Coca-Cola. Put the cocaine back in Coca-Cola, you cow. <gasps> I agree with Shoe on Head. Put the cocaine back in Coca-Cola. That was America's first energy drink. <laughs> Scratch those last two things. You get what I mean, though. When I look at videos like this... I don't see a fetish. I don't see white supremacy. I see escapism from neoliberal hell world. And more importantly... Oh, that dep depends on who you talk to. Okay, so, okay, here's Show on Head. Who sees... Uh... The blonde chick that's being talked about on this... Her TikTok trad wife videos. Exactly my point. I don't see a woman who's tr trying to hate men and be better than everyone else. Because that's the problem with painting women and men against each other. Or anything, you know. In our today's society, it's, it's like... Oh, you, have, you faced oppression for X amount of years... Well, now that you have equality to the assholes who are oppressing you, it's okay for you to identify as superior be because fuck the assholes who oppressed you. And I'm like, that's not how equality works. I acknowledge that my white ancestors did some really fucked up shit, and I acknowledge that I, ha that I have privilege. But completely stripping my my rights as a human being because you don't like the circumstances. And I agree with Shoein Head in the fact of when I see this cute blonde with the huge tits going on uh, TikTok with the trad wife status, I don't see it as oppression. oppression. I don't see her for her amazing tits. What I see, here, here's a woman who's just like, this is what my other half likes. 
And if you want to cook am amazing food, then here's how you do it. You stop making it about gender, race, and sexual orientation, and you start to find that humans are pretty similar to, to each other. But because automatically she's some pretty blonde with huge tits, and because she's white, and because she has a husband, and because she enjoys being a trad wife, Everyone gets so triggered by that, like feminism being like, oh, hey, it's all about your personal choice. But if you choose what the patriarchy wants, and I'm like, stop worrying about what the patriarchy wants and just do what you want to do. As long as you ain't a sick sicko, who cares? See someone doing what they want to do and not hurting anyone. There's nothing wrong with choosing. Exactly my point, Sean Head. These trad wives are just doing what they want to do. They're not hurting any anyone, and everyone's got to be offended because you can't do anything in our society society without being offended. Work for your family who loves you instead of a boss who hates you. There's nothing wrong with dedicating your life. And that's the thing of it. You can either work for a family that hates your guts or work for a boss that hates your guts. Do whatever makes you happiest. Something bigger than your next Amazon purchase. In conclusion... you sh Exactly. Do things that are make you bigger than what you purchased on Amazon. I gotta take a piss. I have an Amazon package being delivered to my apartments next week. Doesn't matter what I ordered, that's beside the point. Leave the TikTok trad wives alone. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and... Why is it, though, that in our society you have women who try to define what is a woman based off of their their own oppression, but then when you have women who say, fuck the oppression, I'm going to do what I want, both sides fuck, fucking attack each other, and it becomes this huge argument. This is why Matt Walsh got so much hatred for asking the question, what is a woman? Because women and men are being redefined in our society. to my Patreon, link down below. We're doing Discord movie nights together every month and it's a whole lot of fun. So I would love to see you there. And stick around for the next video. Bye! Well, thank you, Shoe On Head, for that insightful uh, video. Appreciate it. Three hour video, this is ridiculous. <laughs> You're sick of gender politics and you just want to smell good for the ladies to increase your chances. Check out Tactical Soap, coupon code King Cobra, links below. <gasps> it helps me, your favorite YouTuber, make some money. And it helps you smell better for the ladies. But tomorrow's my birthday.
you don't have to donate money to appreciate my videos, but if you do, it's greatly appreciated. And from now on, I gotta be more careful about the shoutouts because my trolls don't give a shit. They know I hate sickos. And don't even get me started on that. You live in a society where it's like, if you don't have your own opinions, you're a piece of shit. But then if you dare to have your own opinions, you're a piece of shit. That's exactly how it is. There it is, that's what I was looking for. Everyone wants the same thing, more privilege, and didn't have their needs and wants acknowledged. But that gets overshadowed by all the other assholes who are feeling the same thing. Anyways, YouTube, keep fighting for our quality. And fuck sickos. Check out all the links below to support your boy King Cobra and subscribe for more more content. I'm not trying to offend anyone <clears throat> with my content. I'm trying to make you think. Just because logic and society and sanity go out the window doesn't mean you have to start dictating your decisions based off of what's socially appropriate. That can lead to a very dangerous rabbit hole.
catch you all later.